I closed the noodle shop. I closed the Queen Cup. There's a podcast that's coming to an end. Everybody, this is the last episode of Keep It Aloha. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You can tell guys who never graduate because they go, I went to Hawaii. I, I wanted to be I wanted to be the Eddie Murphy of Hawaii, but I also wanted to sing like Frank, and I wanted mm. to be smooth like Andy. We hate everyone equal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's it's why comedy easy. is so important because it's mm -hmm. the one place, right? It should be where safe. you can. Kepoa'a, moe lepo and tipila. Dude, when I was little, I was like. Oh no, oh kole no au But it's true. Yeah. Velina Mai Kako, welcome to Keep It Aloha, a podcast that keeps it aloha by being Portuguese by blood and Portuguese by choice. I'm your host Kamaka and I am Portuguese by blood, but today I'm going to get very Portuguese by choice. <laughs> we have not one, not two, but three legendary guests with us today, all of whom are legends in Hawaii comedy. But before we introduce them, I gotta remind you to check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash kamakadias if you want to join our Patreon Ohana and get exclusive early access and behind the scenes access to this podcast. All funds go to helping us run this podcast and bring you the best quality content every week. Shout out to our newest Patreon supporter, Melanie Constantino, for joining our Kako Otier. Welcome to the Ohana, Melanie. If supporting this podcast with money is not for you, but you still love listening to us, please leave a review on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. It would mean the world to us. All right, let's introduce our guests. Support for this podcast comes from Texaco in Hawaii, which features 58 convenient locations across the state. Fueling up at Texaco is fast and easy when you use the Texaco mobile app to pay at the pump. The Texaco mobile app is a contactless way to pay for fuel so you can get in and out of the gas station quickly. Fuel your car and fuel yourself. Pick up your favorite local snacks and ice cold drinks at your neighborhood Texaco today. Texaco with Tecron, driving performance. Our guests today are legendary comedians from the island of Oahu. Our first guest is an award-winning comic who has been entertaining local residents and tourists alike for over 45 years with his zany parodies, outrageous sense of humor, and spontaneous creativity. His current catalog consists of three videos and 13 comedy albums, 11 of which have won him the coveted Nahoku Hanohano Award. If you've ever seen a yellow taxi in Hawaii, this man and voice has probably popped into your head. Our next guest is an actor, stand-up comedian, host, and producer. He has recorded a number of comedy albums with his first winning on the Hoku Hanohano Award for Most Promising Artist and later three more for Best Comedy Performance. Man. He has many, many accolades from decades of work wow. under his belt, but currently he is the host of the Daily Pigeon Podcast, a show that talks about the Hawaiian Pigeon language and Hawaii local customs. Our last guest is also a comedian, actor, and radio personality with over 30 years of experience. He was named one of U.S.'s top undiscovered comedians in 2019. <laughs> he is recognized as one of Hawaii's top 100 influential Filipinos and was named Comedian of the Year as the funniest comic in Hawaii back in 2012. Back in 2012. <laughs> yeah. He was awarded the only local comedian. He it was the only local comedian to sell out the Blazel Arena. Oh Bad and has won two Nahoku Hano Hano awards. You can check out episode three to learn more about him. Awesome. All three of these guys are Hawaii's most popular and beloved comedians. And I am so, so, so stoked to talk stories with them today. Their names are Frank DeLima, Andy Bumatai, and Augie Toba. Right. Hello, Frank, Andy, and Augie. Welcome to the Keep It Low podcast. How are you doing? Hanaho! I had to, I had to cut off a lot of accolades from you all just to get uh, to that. <laughs> wait, sorry guys, I'm gonna have to, you know, <laughs> blow the fun just for a second. Right now, yeah, we oh, have yeah, a special announcement from yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Yeah, oh, here we go. Here we go. go. Here we go. And not the official endorsements. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> All statements well, yeah, made on it. this comedy show are personal opinions and not the official endorsements. By the city and county of Honolulu. Okay, we good now. We good. <sighs> Sorry. Okay. So yeah. in case you missed it, fill the pot, potholes. No problem. Man. I can. Yeah. Well, we can talk about potholes. We, we can, can talk, talk about. about we can, can complain about, about them. We can talk about anything that you guys want. We can talk about pot or holes. <laughs> right. <laughs> 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 oh my god. I don't think we've ever we talked about pot on this podcast. We never talked about holes though. That's a new one. <laughs> puka, puka, yeah. puka. Pot puka. Yeah. 
I just want to say mahalo to you all for coming here. It's such an honor to be in the presence of you all. Oh, such staples it. in the history of Hawaii, not just comedy, the history of Hawaii. And like people in my generation and before me, we've all watched your stuff. So it's like, it's such an honor just to have you guys here. And it's going to be such a good episode. And I can't wow. wait oh. to learn more about all of you. Don't commit too early. Yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> you never know. Never know. Yeah. I might be disappointed. <laughs> hey, by the way, before we go any further, I just want to remind you that the three of us will be at the MAC in, on Maui. Uh, I, I forget the date, 26 <laughs> July or something. Anyway, Auntie <laughs> and, and I will be at the Blue Note <laughs> on Father's Day. Mm -hmm. Frank, yeah. you have and nothing. Father's I'm no gonna be, I'm gonna be outside the, of the of the, the, the reef hotel in, with my ukulele and one pot right on the street. But yeah, pot and I'm gonna and I'm gonna go play Hawaiian song and hope the tourists love it. I got it. Friday, July 26, 7 I said p.m. 26 at the Castle Theater. Okay, okay so nice. go check that out. Where can oh, we get yeah. tickets? Right. At the um, Mac you can and go online. to andybumatai.com mm -hmm. or you can go to the Mac, which is MauiArts.com. Mm -hmm. Oh, simple. Yeah. Okay. Easy. Okay. Yeah. And there you, go. you go. Back yeah. to Maui, the three of us. Oh, <laughs> yeah. we, had, we did well there. Oh, last, last time. time good, was fun. good fun. To and so, nowadays, you got to fly in and out because uh -huh. hotels are about $1,000 a yes. day. Yes. Mm. Even the ones that were only. Dollar Tree eighty way yeah. back. When what I if you just brought one like a sleeping bag and you stay at the airport? Like, uh, we tried that. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, how many? Like I've done that many a times. Just rent the car, sleep. Oh, sleep yeah, in the car. Yeah, because like we stay. Well, well, we stay in these rooms, right? Yeah. We get back normally at eleven if we don't eat. Yeah. Right, and then we all most of us mm -hmm. leave the first flight. For you, so you're spending all that money for yeah. five hours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I but you know, Augie is the best, and and Frank, back me up on this. <laughs> we go do gigs where we hit and run. He and I bags and all this kind of stuff. Augie, he show up with his phone. <laughs> That's it. He go on stage with what he wears on the airplane. Yes. <laughs> Boom, in, out. Yes. No, I'm going thing. Council member Augie Toba, everybody. Thank you. Yes. No, I'm serious. I, I told Greg, he goes, on this gig, I said, I'm going to do an Augie. Yeah. That's the way, bro. It's the easiest way to do it. You know, just mm -hmm. make sure you take a bath before you go. Before. That way you feel fresh. You're ready for go. Double up on Double the Double up, right. <laughs> You can wash. You can uh, wash your face in the airport bathroom. Can, right? Well, if you're sweating, if but you're most sweating. of the time, you know, uh, we don't having sweat. so much fun and you know on stage. Ah, I don't know about you. I'm Filipino. I'm not sweat. Yeah. I don't want that. Yeah, yeah. That I sweat. You Me sweat. Too. Yeah, yes. I must be the, the Portuguese. Yeah, yeah. I got Portuguese. your sweat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and especially when you put some weight on, then you can sweat more. You know, yes. you have canals and you have, <laughs> you, have you, you get potholes on the canals, body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, and they all they all you know accumulate water. You know what I mean? <laughs> So I get, drunk for uh, you. <laughs> I get wet ones that I get. <laughs> wet ones are really helpful. You know, they yeah. are. Oh, <laughs> my All right. Well, we have a lot to get into. Okay. And I would like to know before uh, we talk about more potholes and mm. water coming out of different canals of the body, <laughs> where it all started from. So oh, nice. I got to ask, where are you from? Where are you grad? And what was it like growing up? We're going oldest to youngest, youngest to oldest. The one who never got first. Well, why you guys like let's them? do it in this yeah. order. He helped me, and I help him. Yes. So he got to go okay, first. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Who went first? You. you. Me. <laughs> okay. Where so you, what you, where you from? Where you got? What was it like growing <laughs> he up? He wasn't okay. listening to his <laughs> 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 I keep up. <laughs> you have to understand. Now, I'm the oldest there, so sometimes we daydream. You know, yeah, we're going no to problem. we're going to another dimension. So call this call me. You know, call my name and. And then I'll respond, okay. all right? Uh, <laughs> I was born 1105 at night, St. Francis Hospital. My mom named Pearl, my dad named Frank Sr. I was raised in Pau Oa Valley between Punch Bowl and Pacific Heights. I um, went to, you want to know schools? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I went to Pau Oa Elementary Kindergarten, Cathedral Grade School, uh, first grade to eighth grade. <laughs> <laughs> then I went to Damien Memorial High School. Mm -hmm. And then I went to seminary. I was studied to be a Catholic priest. I was there for four years at St. Stephen's and got my degree at Chaminade. Then I went up mainland three years. 
and got my wow. master's in divinity. Mm -hmm. And then I came back home and I was a deacon for about 11 months. And then I decided I better go find out before, you know, I make the final step. So I told him I'd take a break. And I, my brother-in-law hired me to entertain tourists. And I was a um, Canadian tourist. Mm -hmm. And it was seven mornings a week, two shows a morning. And I would do the breakfast briefings. Had about a thousand Pe tourists each show. That's one. That's that one was briefing really huge too, right? Yes, it was big. And uh, then after that, I would do the the beach parties, and then the um, pool party, and then the God before just dinner. Left, huh? God. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then after dinner, I after the dinner show, I would go do the the, the nightclub show, wow. and uh, so I worked really really hard. And uh, then I got a job at the noodle shop. And then I was at the noodle shop till 89, from 77 to 89. Mm -hmm. And while at the noodle shop, the most important, the, the biggest thing that happened to me was Lucille and Emel DeMarcos coming to my show, along with Carol Burnett and uh, Jim Neighbors. And he brought all these people in. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and then from there, I went, uh, the, see, where did I go? To Queen Kapiolani Hotel. And I was there till 94 when the Persian Gulf War broke out. So everything stopped. But just about a, maybe six months later, the Polynesian Palace said Al Harrington retired. So I took that over. And I was there until the economy went sour. So then I went to the Hula Hut. Mm -hmm. And I was at the Hula Hut for about six months and they broke down the building. So I closed all the- While you were in it. Yeah, that, that, almost, <laughs> almost. I tell you, they, they're wow. so terrible. They don't tell you, you know. You know I was in the dressing room. At any rate. What's that noise? <laughs> that noise. And then after the Hula Hut, uh, then I went collect unemployment for two, two, what, two weeks. And then- <laughs> Uh, one lady went say, oh, Frank Dinema, poor thing, Portuguese lady. You know, yeah, she mm -hmm. went tell David. She said, oh, poor thing, he's collecting unemployment. And uh, the, I got calls from all my friends at Punchbowl. Mm -hmm. You're collecting unemployment. What happened? You need help. You know, so help. you tell her, yeah, yeah, telegraph, tell her Portuguese. Yeah? So <laughs> the whole, the whole Punchbowl found out that I was collecting unemployment, but, but not for long. And then I went to the uh, captain's table and I performed there for f five, five years. And then, uh, then they went bankrupt. The building went bankrupt. So then I went to the pagoda. <laughs> so if you hear that, the other thing is, at you this hear, moment, I'd be like, I should have stayed a priest. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you see it, I closed the noodle shop. I closed the Queen Cup. There's Lani a Hotel. comment going on right now. I, I closed. Hey Jordan, should we stop recording? That? <laughs> <laughs> this and this podcast is coming to an end. <laughs> Everybody, this is the last episode of Keep It Low. I'm, so I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That's what Pagoda told me. Oh. They said, don't come here. We don't like clothes. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's footy beverage manager. Augie didn't tell me that so, when I said get Frank Dinamo uh, on the podcast. Yes. He left that part out. <laughs> well, but God is good because uh, after, uh, after I went to the Pagoda, I had a place to do all the main, you know, Mother's Day, Father's mm -hmm. Day, all those, yeah. at least for that time. And then the it's a good palace. Yeah, yeah, the palace called me up and mm -hmm. said, come back. And uh, so after 9-11, I went back and uh, I was there for a few years and Chara was there, loyal. Yeah. Uh, I, I entertained with Glenn Medeiros. It was yeah. a really big. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, Don Ho did the dinner show That's and right. then I did my show after. Uh, so that brought me to 2000 and whatever. Mm -hmm. And for the past 10 years, nothing. Only Augie and Andy, they they you know, conjure up, conjure up these, they, these they get you out of the house. You know, hey, we'll go play at Pearl Ridge. We'll go play. We'll play. We'll play. We'll go play. We'll go play Pearl Ridge. And I said, okay, this well. And they said, yeah. one empty, the uh, one empty, one empty <laughs> store. I said, okay, only get one empty store. Yeah, only one empty store. Uh, just, I, and that was it. Yeah, yeah. Just to see you in that club. In front of that topless mannequin. I know. It's amazing. <laughs>
I had this this naked mannequin in the back on the stage. I said, everyone we went to. Well, we only went yeah. two, but you know, they put yeah. that same thing up there, and I never understood why. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. Well, for being the oldest, you have a really good memory. I can barely remember what I did in the last couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah. I have. Thank yeah. you for bringing that up. Because when you get to me, I'm gonna go. Ah, I don't know. <laughs> a lot of details that yeah, would take yeah, it yeah. on. Sure and on. Would get into uh, some that's of that. a big part of your act too, though. He goes through the that goes chronological. Through yes. You know. He, mm, so yeah. I did this and sense. I did that, and you know that's that's it, what makes that. Expert. You know, it's funny. It's like when Andy tells his story, I'm going. You can see how the thing just kind of weave everything, yeah, everything, and weave. how like was yeah. kind of. I don't know if you believe in like things yeah. happen. Things well, like happen for reason. Falling, yeah, you know? mm -hmm. because okay, you can share Andy. Yeah. Watch, no, 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 watch I, how I'm going to weave this I, thing in. Well, for me, you know, I you know I grew up in I right, and I uh, went to Wainai High School on occasion. <laughs> 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 Every other day, and you know, <laughs> terrible media does a funny bit about you. Can tell guys who never graduate because they go, "I went to Y and I." They never say I graduated. I didn't graduate, right? But anyway, so then uh, I, you know, I, I was a salesman, ended up in comedy, and it was interesting. And this is where this man, uh, I always love him with, from the bottom of my heart because um, I was looking for a gig. Right. And nobody knew what stand up was. Right. So I get to the noodle shop and Frank's in there playing, you know, smooth Hawaiian music. And Millie's, and I said, Oh, I'm a stand up. And, and Millie, right. She yeah. says, Oh, that might be nice. Would you mind playing Frank's breaks? And I look at him. I went, oh, yeah, wow, guaranteed. So I say, come back Saturday. I come back Saturday. He's in the middle of K O H O. The place is going ballistic. I went, oh, I'm going to follow this, right? And I died like a rat for <laughs> for months, right? In fact, got you got better as you went along. <laughs> He's yeah. nice. And we talk story. And we talk story after work. Yeah, yeah. yeah we talk. He helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. but one of my favorite moments, and I don't know if you remember this, right? After a particularly bad night, I'm over by the pool, right? And I'm a guy got my hand against the wall. I'm going, I can't do this anymore. I'm just eating it right and he's killing right and then melvine and i didn't know her at the time she comes walking out and she sees me against the wall she comes up she grabbed me by my shoulders right and she says boy i want you to know something we all been there okay what you're going through you have to to get to where you let go i know you suck now <laughs> but there's something there. The titter came Keep off. it off. <laughs> and I'm like, oh! there's something there. <laughs> yeah, but you know, and that, and that gave me the, you know, because I almost quit. And then from 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 being at the noodle shop, Rap Replinger left Booga Booga. So the boys came in and they saw me up there and they said, hey, if he can do that, he can fill in for rap, right? By the way. At this point, I never saw Booga Booga because it cost 10 bucks to go in and I didn't have the money, right? So I said, oh, yeah, sure. I can feel in for him. I don't... So they said, well, come down, watch the show. It's his last performance. I go in there. You think he's getting laughs? Um, <laughs> rap? It's like... <laughs> they're swearing and they're doing that real edgy kind of stuff. And I went... Oh no, here we go again. And you know, and again, so I, I worked with Tim for a little while, and then uh, that didn't work because I didn't want to swear, and you know, and there were, you know, ancillary influences <laughs> that, <laughs> that I was not a part of. So then I went to um, a Kojak's. Yeah, that's right. And I had this little club yeah. on a Monday, three, four people show up. Okay, fine, right? And then um, Larry Fleece, hey, uh, you want to do a TV show? TV, I never thought about doing it. So we did um, School Days, right? Mm -hmm. So I did it, right? Another one of my favorite stories. <laughs> we do it, it airs, right? I'm walking to the club. There's a line around the building, okay? I'm looking, I went, oh, Mel gave my date to the band. <laughs> <laughs> I was all dejected. I walk home. The phone rings. Where are you? 
<laughs> what? Get down here, you idiot! <laughs> and I walked, and the, the crowd was for me, and I couldn't because I didn't understand, mm -hmm. you know, television, right? And then after that, we did all in the Ohana, and from there, I went to the Beamer Brothers in Waikiki. Uh, that was during the Honolulu City Lights thing, and uh, that's, and then from there, the Monarch Room for a year and a half, and after that, I went to Hollywood and lost. All my money. <laughs> <laughs> well, we tried to develop series, yeah. and you know, I figured, oh, I just gotta keep going, mm -hmm. you know. And yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't fit with with Hollywood, you know. That whole, the whole, ment the schmoozing, and you know, all, like I never forget this moment. But we're all there, right? All the comics and stuff, and they're all talking about their shoes. You know when what theirs was made and how many of this was it? Like they're collectors' mm -hmm. items, and they look at my shoes all bust up, right? <laughs> and they well, what's up with your shoes, Andy? I said, well, I got this thing where I buy a pair of shoes, wear them till they wear out, and then buy one not on. <laughs> 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 you know, so I I never really fit. But you know, when I was at the comedy store, it was Seinfeld and yeah. Kennison, and you know. Um, you know, uh, Jim Carrey and these kind of guys, those were the people that we were all on the bill together, right? And they all went, boom. Now, most of the people didn't do that boom part, right? And I was one of the ones that didn't do that. And then um, my girlfriend, right, uh, she got pregnant right up there. I met her here. She mm -hmm. came up there. And then I said, you know, I want my kids to grow up in Hawaii. So I moved back. Mm -hmm. And then... I call up Frank. Are you getting any gigs? <laughs> <laughs> no, the pagoda going to kick me out. <laughs> it's a tear down. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. Augie, you got any gigs? <laughs> but during that whole time, okay, and this is the segue, right? Yeah. This new kid comes up I'm hearing about, right? So I go to Waianae to watch him perform to help raise money for the uh, band yeah. because someone stole all the instruments. Why and I? Mm -hmm. So they were trying to raise money for instruments. So I heard they're going to have this new comic there to help. And uh, my first thought was, how the hell do you sell saxophones in Waianae? <laughs> wow, it's one Samoan hash pipe. <laughs> you know, but anyway, and that's when I saw Augie. Yeah, mm. first time. Nice. Well, not really the first time, because two weeks before that, what? yeah, two weeks before that, Andy's at Kapilani Medical. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, so, so this is where like okay. it's really crazy because Andy wasn't supposed to be at that gig in Wai'anae, and yeah. I took the gig because none of the Howley comics wanted to go Wai'anae. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. The guy said. Actually, the guy said, "I got fifty bucks. I know you <clears> live up the road." <laughs> Can you do 10 minutes? I really could only do five. I just met this guy. I was uh, doing open mic and uh, I went there. And then. Uh, talk about, the, so, talk so, about so, the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> when we met. So check this out. The first time I saw Andy was in the fourth grade, right? Mm -hmm. My auntie takes me to an Yvonne Element concert. I get hooked on wanting to be a performer. But all through that time, I'm buying his. Albums, right? I know every I know every song that Frank makes up until, you know, uh and Andy Andy's uh, um Andy Bumatai stand-up comedian. I know every bit. I know every booga booga bit, mm -hmm. I know every rapper. I'm yeah. like, you know, this crazy kid with ADHD that could mimic all these guys. So long story short, right? Now I'm working at the hospital. I, I went, I grew up in Kali, went to Kaivai, Dole, Farrington, and I, I too made my girlfriend pregnant, had to work. Uh, I worked night shift at Kapiolani Medical. 16 years, right? Yeah, I I was there for that. 16 yeah. years. But then, so I, uh, I'm i pushing my cart and I'm like, I see this guy on black cowboy hand. I'm like, holy smokes, Andy Boy. Yeah. He's oh, sitting in the waiting room. I'm like, so <laughs> right, so I go four, like four, a couple of times, and then he go, like talk. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta imagine, uh, okay, interjection. Right. You gotta imagine how he's walking by. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like super <laughs> like, obvious. Oh, like, in your mind, you're like, I'm so yeah, 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 yeah. in I just wanted to say, how's it? But like, to, and then Andy sat with me, 
And this is where it was like, for me, like, you know, you know, when like we talk again, the universe, mm -hmm. like, I'm like, holy crap. You know, I'm, I just started doing stand up. I won this open mic in Waikiki at the Honolulu Comedy Club. So I'm like, I'm this, you know, uh, extra excited guy mm. that just went on stage. You know, I'm, you know, I'm like, holy smoke, I'm doing what I wanted to do because I saw him in the fourth grade. Mm. Now I'm in a, I'm in a, you know, couple of minutes going, listen, I think he was doing the, the TV show with the guy from 21 Jump Street. Oh, yeah, with uh, that, yeah, um, Richard Grieco. Yeah, he was doing that <laughs> Raven, right? Is it, not Raven. No, that was, was a Marker. Marker. He was doing Marker. Yeah. This black cowboy. I was like, National television yeah. show. Mm -hmm. and I was like, yeah. I was like, yeah. I did one more time. So he goes, hey, we'll talk. So we sat down and I, I explained to him that I'm a new comic. And we went to my warehouse. Yeah. We, well, we, we stayed in the warehouse. Andy wrote. And I showed Andy like two weeks ago. The piece of paper. Oh, yeah. Oh, I yeah. should have brought that. Oh, dude. I, you know what? I, I have it yeah. on my phone. So mm -hmm. I gave, like, I wrote that night. I wrote the date, right? Now, you know, I am right. <laughs> I meet my idol, mm -hmm. right? And then, like, two weeks later, you know, uh, I get, hey, can you do this thing in Y&I? Uh, because you live up the road. And and Freddie Morris. Remember Freddie Morris? Yeah, and, sure. Freddie Morris was like the ventriloquist, right? He was supposed to be that guy. And I was like, oh, I get to see Freddie Morris. Because the first time I saw him was in Chickens and Pogo, right? So uh, I hear a bike pull in. And I see Andy Walker. I'm like, oh, it's Andy Wontai. Did Freddie show up? No, he was his dad got sick. You filled in for him. Oh, that's yeah. what happened. Yeah. And so Andy filled in for him, man. I was like, I saw Andy in my peripherals. I was like, holy crap. Yeah. Dude, that night, he asked me for open for him. Yeah. Wow. How cool is that? Let me just Serendipity. add a little interjection mm -hmm. here. <laughs> the reason I was at the hospital, right, is my wife was complaining about, right? So we went to the hospital and she was like doubled up in pain and stuff. And turns out she was having an ectopic pregnancy. Yeah. You know what that is, right? But the, the, it's in the fallopian tube. Yeah. And it's very, very dangerous, right? So the doctor's explaining to me. So they're in there dealing with that. And I'm like, oh, my God. Right? And here's brother. <laughs> okay. well, I got this beat about a Samoan and two chickens. And I'm like, you know, bro, not, 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 not. And then he come back again. Okay, what about a Filipino? With my, bah. But, it, but it turns out in that moment, right, he distracted me mm. from something I had no control over uh -huh. anyway. Right. So we ended up writing material. Do the bit. Dude, you the remember bit, the like bit? The, it's like the real bit, right? It was like, so a guy falls to the elevator shop in KPT. And I just thought it was funny how he never died. He just kind of like, because they're yelling, oh, he's like, get him, I get him. It was on the news. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I was like, how do I write one joke? And then he goes, yeah, it's because, you know, at KPT, that's Samoan bungee jumping. <laughs> <laughs> Except the guy was Filipino, so he had two chickens under his arm. <laughs> <laughs> the birds broke no, that's right. Like my real, like that was like my first real joke. Cause I was just talking about stuff that, yeah. you know, I grew up uh in Kali and you know, I was just kind of finding a rhythm and you know, I, I yeah. wanted to be I wanted to be the Eddie Murphy of Hawaii, mm -hmm. but I also wanted to sing like Frank, and I wanted mm -hmm. to be smooth like Andy. And man, it was crazy because all in that within that three months, I was working at uh, right by Frank's house and one one uh, grocery store. I would see Frank walk in. Remember Frank? Yeah, I would see Frank. Hey, I, I like this story. The what? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good story. I was like, Frank, how do I become a stand up comic? And Frank. He's gonna be so tired. I don't know. He's just walking. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he's like, I don't know. Because he don't like being bothered. And I get it now because, you know, these guys work late, but I'm like, I'm seeing all the guys that I grew up watching. Up. All this energy, this <laughs> the first thing out of How you start? Oh my God. <laughs> I just want to buy my excuse, stuff excuse, with this. This is the This is the dilemma. I get this joke. What's the Samoan guy with two chickens? What? <laughs> so like yeah, dude, everything oh. kind of all fell in place, mm -hmm. and you know everybody that I grew up watching, <laughs> hearing, and seeing yeah. within a three month period from doing my first open mic, I was like 
you know, working with him because I worked with Frank because I was Andy's yeah. opening act. Andy went to Polynesian Palace. Andy did that. Remember yeah. the, the Polynesian showcase? Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. I used to come in early just for watch Andy and mm -hmm. Glenn Medeiros. Yeah, with Frank. Yeah. And you know, it's Frank amazing. Yeah. You yeah. think about that three month period. It's like we live on an island. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't realize. What are the chances of running <laughs> into somebody? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's like two two degrees of separation here in Hawaii. <laughs> no, yeah, it's really. even but, smaller sometimes. But it is. Yeah, it is, and you think about it, it, it is. That's why, like, I, I I believe, like, you 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 manifest something at a young age because these guys will tell you, and I know Frank Frank tells his story and about how he was influenced and he wanted to entertain. And he probably the same thing. Right. You know what I mean? And it mm. just kind of all comes together. Yeah. But that's what makes it so fun about working with, with these guys, you know? <laughs> we each have a different style, mm -hmm. you know? So when you come to the show, if all three of us are there, you know, we lick the platter clean. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> With whatever kind of comedy yeah. you're into. You're you getting know? the whole food pyramid. Kind yeah, of. But yeah. we're enough alike that it's, it, it's not disjointed. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. Because that's the last It all works thing. together. It's yeah. real cohesive. Yeah. You know what? I'm working with somebody yeah. that's doing Lucille too, right, Frank? Who? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I got a song called I tell you, no. Lucille. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, mine. You know, but I remember working, I told a Portuguese joke or a couple of Portuguese jokes when I was working with you, and you pulled me on the side, you know. Portuguese jokes is my mind. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have a mind. You got to. And my jokes. You got to represent your bloodline this way. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I remember the joke too. It was, you said, oh yeah, my Portuguese friend, he was bragging, he, you know, no, I, I was bragging to my friend, oh, hey, when my mom made cake, she let me lick the spoon. And my Portuguese friend said, ask nothing. When my mom makes steak, she let me lick the knife. <laughs> <laughs> Not a beat. <laughs> I do put <Portuguese>. again. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you were right. You were right. Why it shouldn't have? You cannot. You cannot do the same thing. You know. Cause, yeah. Cause, so whoever is second, could not gonna get last. Yeah. The, the <laughs> right. guy that the guy that grabbed it, mm -hmm. he's the one that's gonna get the last. Yeah. yeah very true. Yeah. That's why when you come to the show, it's just a continuum. And we all know each other's stuff yeah. already. Yeah. yeah. So, so we'll that's never ever until, step. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the the best thing about all you three and the people that came before is they're also similar. It's like from the it's like when you think of languages, everything's in the same Austronesian family, but you got like Maori, Hawaiian, you know, Samoa and Tongan. It's all living together but different. Yeah. Same, same, but different. And it all works. Right. And you all have your audience. And I, I think that's like the best thing about us seeing you growing us, seeing you guys as we were growing up. Yeah, you know, uh, I, I used to teach a stand-up comedy class, you know, and I always use yeah, you um, uh, Augie <laughs> as an example. <laughs> I said, Did I go one time too? I, I think you invited yeah, just me to speak. Yeah. Yes, you didn't take the class you oh, to speak. Oh, 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 I you see. To speak to the comics about doing things. Yeah. But the example that I use of Augie, oh, I said, my. here are the basic <laughs> rules of comedy. Here's how the, it should happen. And I want you to know that I, I told Augie these exact same rules and he broke every <laughs> one of them. <laughs> he never listened to nothing, but he, he was successful, meaning every everybody does it different. Mm, yeah. yeah. Great. yeah. I regress on that. You did give me an advice that I still hold on to. When you do nice shows, make sure you get nice shoes. <laughs> <laughs> so whenever I'm doing big shows, that's the first thing I do, you know. I go to the store and I get nice shoes. Because when people sitting in this audience, they're looking directly mm, at, at, at your at, shoes. Yeah. At shoe, shoe height, yeah. <laughs> and they go, you nice shoes. <laughs> Remember Frank. that one show where we all took pictures of our shoes <laughs> and Frank and, and no no uh, Mel uh, I mean uh, yeah I'm a Mel yeah. Bang when you know may he rest in peace he had like Crocs yeah, Crocs. that he hand painted himself yeah. mm -hmm. I went wow he goes funny <laughs> <laughs> and I get one shoe 
that's uh, higher than the other because I get short leg, yeah. Oh. <laughs> so all, every so often, especially kids, come yeah. up and say, is that a clown shoe? You know, <laughs> clown the, shoe. The clown shoe. That's what they think it is, a clown shoe. <laughs> He's got to tell them so that. So shoes are the first thing mm. if you're on an elevated yeah. stage anyway. They notice. That's what they look for. First. Mm. Yeah. yeah. yeah Most people won't ask, but the kids, they always Yeah, ask. I remember you You came to our um, elementary school at Kelkaha. <laughs> Uh -huh. I'm from Big Island. I went to Kilka and I remember you doing the Buta hunt. Yes. Yeah. My brother, he's like, hey, come on. You got to make sure you tell him if he remembers coming to Kilka and doing the Buta hunt. <laughs> like, yeah, it's okay. I'll tell him. <laughs> he tells a story about doing peanut, peanut butter, yes, yes. right? Uh -huh. and, and I went, yeah, yeah, right. Now we're driving down the road. These construction workers yeah. see him in the car. Hey, bro. Peanut, 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 and oh. then pow, yeah. Look pow, pow. I all yeah. already enough for it. Plus cost too much. <laughs> cost plenty of money, you know, because you. No, all we get the podcast right though. now. Statewide, I, we gotta keep Frank sponsors. doing this. Yeah, Texaco, yeah. Texaco, that well, they they help out, but you have I have all these people that help out, oh. but it's they're not. It, it's, you got to raise a lot of money yeah, yeah. to mm -hmm. to do it to travel. So, and I'm it? getting. I I I think it's time to retire. Yeah, I really do. Plus, I have mumule, you know. <laughs> I get neuropathy. <laughs> I get atrophy. I get arthritis. So lucky I can turn my neck and not have to look at Andy. Look at Augie Bird eye. You know, you know, <laughs> you know it's like that's why you know, I chose this. <laughs> but I can still, you know, I do yeah, my, yeah. all my therapies mm -hmm. and everything else. Yeah. It's time. Mm. It's time. It's wow. So, so this be could be the final, the final. Seventy-five years old. Yeah, for the elementary yeah. schools, I think. Yeah, it's a it's that time because it's financially it's mm -hmm. you know very difficult and um, and even physically you know mm -hmm. catching the plane to go neighbor islands and yeah. and um, you know it's a constant more it's on the go. Just do the, the YouTube just like Andy. The YouTube, yeah. the no, well, and plus it's, I'm a luxury, and the schools have a lot more. You know, the modern day mm -hmm. schools now they got all more all and, kinds of yeah. other things that they want to get into. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. they're going different directions. My my days, I think, is uh, you know, pop. You paved the path for us. I did. It's well, other, I other say stuff. This, though, with all his, you know. Illnesses or whatever you want to call them, <laughs> he's still on stage killing it. Yeah, I mean, I, I can sit down, the, but the the putting him out still go. Yeah, yeah, still yeah. goes. It's, yeah. like still he, it's like he's being delivered by UPS. <laughs> <laughs> right? yeah. But then once you sign, Damn. boom. I think I think that's the coolest part. Like when we do it per ridge, so Andy goes first. Sometimes me and Andy we junk and pull. Who goes first? Frank always ends, and we sit in the back, and we just sit there and going, Amazed. Check this guy. Mm. By the end of the night, the crowd is singing the songs with him. I'm like, yeah, I think I gotta start singing. We gotta start mm -hmm. singing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's gonna carry the torch? <laughs> right. Who get that false? And I think that's uh, one thing that not a lot of people know about you is that you have a music background, right? Singing used to be used to sing. I, I sang, yeah, yeah, all the way from when I was a kid, mm -hmm. yeah, and church choir. High school choir, you know, I just liked the singing part as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you're yeah. a good singer, Frank. You know, I, I don't. You're like, you know, you remind me a little of of Mel Kabang in that yes. people don't appreciate yeah. what Mel. a good musician. Right, he won mm -hmm. an Hanohana Hano Award eleven times. Not just for comedy, he <laughs> yeah. won Song of the Year. Mm -hmm. Song of the Year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why well, that uh, Mel's. Ending song. I yeah. always wait for it when he yeah. used to do his shows. I can't remember the name of the song. Isn't that terrible? But yeah, but it was a, one of those. His voice was perfect for it. Perfect. Malcolm Bang. Yeah, I told him one time, wouldn't it be great to see him with a full orchestra? Yes. Oh. Full song? And he just see, said, there you it's go. a dream. Yeah, people watching. <laughs> Some AI. You know, yeah, use AI. An to orchestra. Do that. That'd yeah. be good. That'd be good for send you off. Oh, be, by yeah. the way, big. So yeah. this is going to be shown later on, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> so it's not live. Right? No, it's not live. But we all, we all, they sh- they're looking yeah. at us now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you can so. say whatever you like. <laughs> okay. And so. Yeah. I'm AI. Yeah. I'm not here. Andy's right been now. a hologram this whole yeah, time. I'm, I'm a hologram. <laughs> I'm at home right now in my BBD. Every so often, I see this guy pop out and we're on camera and then go back in. Oh, no. yeah. You what? just check if we still record it. Oh, no. We still good? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I remember, you know, uh, we, when we all went on uh, on tour with Mel. Remember yeah. that, how much fun that was? Oh, in fact, yes. after he passed away, Augie goes, Hey, we should all go on tour and call us to come see us before we, we dead. die. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. But see, hey, what people don't know is like maybe 10 years ago, we went and we filmed everything. Remember? Every, yeah. So we get, we're just waiting for Frank to die so we can release. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Because it will take that. Do you, do you still mean, need the signature after that or no? No, no, no. Yeah. We got, we got, we got the release. It's all public yeah, domain. Yeah. No, it's not domain. Yeah, we, you know, we went on uh, and I think that was like the most coolest thing ever. Like, uh, I got to watch these guys and hang out. Like, I was in Andy's opening act for a long time, so, yeah. and then I get some really fun road stories, but when we <laughs> all came together, <laughs> man, you know, it was kind of cool and they were being filmed. Yeah. You know, which is, uh, I think, I think people would appreciate, you know, Frank a little bit more, you know, if they <laughs> saw the real Frank. You know, yeah. Real Frank. <laughs> remember, remember when we all went in to get manicures and, or pedicures or something? Yeah, yeah. Do you remember that? And yeah. then and Ed Cahe was with us and then the lady took off his shoes and she went, <gasps> Oh, yeah. oh my god! <laughs> mm-hmm. and I don't band, remember. You never go with us. You oh. came, but you came couple hours there. It was just me. Oh and you. yeah, you never. Yeah. You weren't there. Oh, that was whole part of the whole. Was it Hilo? Yeah. Was it Hilo? Was uh at the uh, uh we get Walmart, the shopping center at Walmart. There's a manicure pedicure place. Yeah. And we walked in because we got there early. Waiting yeah. for Frank uh-huh. to come in, and we did this whole filming. Dude, We're none of us outside. ever got like pedicures. <laughs> You know, it was good though, yeah. But you know what? <laughs> That's what's fun about hanging with comics. You know what I mean? We're all standing around. We look pedicure. We go, wow. We go get one pedicure. <laughs> Everybody went, oh okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I, nobody knew. What and then you get you going like, oh, so what's a pedicure? Yeah, yeah what's, what's a pedicure? <laughs> oh, that's what it is. Uh, good fun. Right. No more happy ending. <laughs> I think the the one thing that I I love about all all you three and your styles is the the style of teasing other ethnicities because that's what we grew up with yeah. before the whole PC era came. Because you know I was I was born in the nineties, so. You know, we still had that. We still had a solid like 15 years, yeah. you know, of just good Portuguese jokes, Filipino jokes, Japanese jokes before we couldn't say certain things, you know. And I want to ask you and get your opinion on how much it changed from that time to this time. And do you have to censor yourself now? Do you have to change a lot of your material? What well, is it like now? I do a disclaimer that where I say we are not prejudiced in Hawaii. We hate everyone equal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> everybody can get it. <laughs> and then, and then you can, then you're, and it's, you know, right? Well, I think for me, I've always had letters mm-hmm. from way the beginning. So, but I never considered that like ever happening. Where now, I do my my comedy only when people pay ticket and come and see me because that's what they want. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm not going on TV, radio, and do my comedy anymore because there's too many sensitive people out there. Or you get the ones that back up the ones that they think are, are sensitive, mm-hmm. but Frank, and they're not. What do they call you, them? <laughs> what do they call those people? You don't have to worry Pantis. anymore because the, the whole generation today, they can't write a letter. <laughs> <laughs> they don't, they don't know have an address. No, no, they just can talk stink on the, on the telephone. That's all. Texting. Talk stink on the telephone. Yeah. Talk stink on the telephone. I think those are called yeah. haters. No such thing as letters Customer service, can I help you? <laughs> I got 20 letters in my career. That's not bad. Mm. Not bad at it's all. Not bad. And guess what the first race was? What? 
Filipino. It's a Portuguese. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> it always your, it's always your own, you know. It's always your you own. You know the kind of how in, in that example there you yeah. get letters. I get like messages or comments hate from Hawaiians. Mm-hmm. It's always your own people. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. you're gonna have what, the what, sensitive what you ones. Say? Well, certain you know you talk about certain topics or you say something and like they're like, oh, how can you never talk about this or how can you never mention oh, this or how yeah, can you say it. this in that way. You know, it's like the the crabs I in the bucket. I thought it would be mentality. about pronunciation. Oh well, I mean, th- oh, that's fine because yes. I I a lot of Hawaii. Hawaii is my first language, so like oh. they didn't come at me with that. But yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. nobody really does. But it's oh, mostly okay. just like you know, there's like the radical side, there's like the more modern side. Yeah. So you know, it's always people butting heads like that. But it's <laughs> like we also goes, mixed. Mind your pronunciation. Yeah. <laughs> pronunciation. Like, uh, <laughs> it's pronunciation. <laughs> you know the. I, was it the come him head the parade? Um, what's her name? Oh, too bad. I brought it up and I cannot think of the name. <laughs> uh, but Karen the old Kiyabi, Hawaii. no, no, before her, Karakai. the poor Stevens. Oh, poor yeah. Stevens. Yes, yeah, she used to correct the the how, poor Howley boy that yeah. was uh, was on there to commenting on the different floats mm. and the this and oh, that, and that goodness. she would interject every single. Half yeah. a word. Half a it word. It was like, oh <laughs> my God. <laughs> but you know, God, God bless her. You know, she was yeah. she was just trying to get him to say it right. That's all. Yeah. But there's but, a way to you do know, it. The, it, it. But you know what? There's a that, way of doing it. Yeah. That is a real difference because you know, um, you know, my daughter, my daughter went to Kamehameha. Mm-hmm. So as a result, you know, with the whole Hawaiian thing, and you try to speak Hawaiian, and a lot of the Hawaiian. Excuse me, mm-hmm. like ko'ino, <laughs> ko'ino. What's up, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Or whatever the deal is. But you do that in Spanish, like when you try to learn, Spanish, they go, oh, pues bien, mm-hmm. oh, oh, little help the Spanish yeah, or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? They, but in Hawaiian, you you scared because yeah. you're gonna get one napua on you. Yeah, no, that's, that's very right. true. I've learned multiple languages. I learned Spanish. I learned Malagasy. Yeah. I lived in Madagascar, and they're so they you say the most basic things, and they're like, oh, oh they're so stuck. Exactly. <laughs> Where over yeah. here, you know, a little bit more high mocks, and yeah, I think that's that's one thing that we need to fix. Like I, I. Trying to never correct people in in anything because yeah. I mean you, that's how you learn, right? Yeah. You gotta make. Mistakes. And if you are going to correct, like you said, there's a way of doing yeah. it. There always is a way of doing yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think I think example. Example. I think yeah. all three of us should have got canceled. Yeah. Well, see, well, lucky see, no, he did. I never had social media. He tore his building down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like five buildings. Well, five, so. five, five showrooms <laughs> gone. You know, I was I was at a show sometime with some small uh, venue. I can't remember it was with Robert Casimero of all people. He was there, so I said, eh, didn't know him well, but he was, oh yeah. And there was this Hawaiian group on stage, three guys, young guys, and they were singing some Hawaiian song, and. Robert, (laughs) excuse me, do you know what you're singing? (laughs) Exactly. And he went, whoa. And these guys did, after that, instrumentals. (laughs) Yeah. You know, see, but, there's multiple sides to that because it's important to you know pronounce things correctly. Yes, of course. Um, but but there's another thing to just like. Hawaiian specifically of all the languages, we're not at a point where we can gatekeep. We can be yeah. like, you can learn, you can, you can't learn. Yeah, yeah. You can olala Hawaii, you can't olala Hawaii. The more the merrier. But you know what? Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you one that really bugs me. Okay, when you're on Hawaiian Airlines and you hear the flight attendant say, "We're arriving at Honolulu," uh, yeah. and and you just want to go up and say, you know what? When you say Honolulu, everybody on this plane, mm-hmm. most of which are visitors, think it's pronounced. Hana Lulu. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And Hana Lulu is a girl named Lulu who lives Hana. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, you know Lulu. Yeah, yeah, Hana Lulu, the one that lives in Maui. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody know her. <laughs> but you know what I mean? You, yes. you, you want to go to them and say, could you please mm-hmm. just do that small thing? Mm-hmm. You know? Yes, I, I totally agree. I think like the little things like that go a long way. And it all yeah. comes down to education. Because like you said, people say kawaii. Instead of Kauai, because Kauai, yeah. they always hear Kauai. They always we grew up with the, our yeah, generations, exactly. and then our yeah. generation teaches to their generation, but yeah, not yeah. teaches. Yeah, but that's, that's just, normal. You, whatever you hear yeah. when you're a kid growing up, yeah. that's how you're gonna say it. And then, event, you know, eventually maybe somebody will come along and say, "Oh no, you gotta say it this way," mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. But most times, my generation, the generation at two or three generations after me, 
didn't. They didn't. They well, didn't. I grew up in Waianae, yeah. and now it's Waianae, <laughs> right? And Maili, But if we want to be like real techno, it's Waikiki. Yeah, yeah. You know, Waikiki. we just say Waikiki, Waikiki or like the. You really gotta emphasize the right. emphasize the cockles. And, and I would be yeah. Buma Tai. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where is the whole thing? Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then there's the whole side of if you get more deep into it, it's like right. writing the okina and the cockles, the diacritical yeah. marks, or not writing it. Yeah. You know, so it's like you can't do anything, right? You can't please everybody. Can't. But I think, yeah. you know, like you said, pronouncing certain things correct so yeah. other people aren't confused. I mean, those things we can agree upon, like we should be doing. Like everything, stuff. yeah. Yeah. You understand a certain amount, of, like in Waikiki, when, had, uh, when they had um, the, uh, the, the, the trash and it said um, mahalo, right? And people were putting letters in there. Thinking it was a mailbox, <laughs> <laughs> right? That was I, I remember that. I, I remember that. And yeah, some of them had... was actually addressed to Frank, and he never well. get them. <laughs> <laughs> they thought it meant mail. Mahalo. Oh, that's the Hawaiian word for mail. <laughs> yeah. So they had to change it to litter. Op I think they, it's opala. No. Is it opala? Yeah, opala. Now? Yeah. I oh, think yeah. I see it. Opala. Yeah, it's it's super interesting the the world we live in. And you guys all got big without social media. Yeah. And that's the most interesting part because you see the comedians these days, you know, I would, I would say the biggest probably like Tumua, yeah. uh, Xavier, Passion, yeah. some other guys um, on Instagram. Yeah. But uh, they have a platform. They, they can reach people like that, right? Yeah. You just post something. Well, that generation that grew up with the social media thing, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, you know, they never have, you know, talk on phone. Stink on the phone. Yeah. Stink on the phone. Nobody did that. Everybody just kind of came up to you and said whatever they had to say. Yeah, that's uh -huh. all. Yeah, they you know, I, I know. I've had a few. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I think that's the that's the beauty of what we did. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And always and in the way you did it, right? You know, and he will tell you, comedy is a reflection of a society. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if society Total cannot man. Absorb what you're saying, then some like you something's wrong. Like, like just admit, like I am not personable. I am not, you know, friendly. Well, you know, because how can you you you're telling me that nothing have you seen in the last week made you laugh? Mm -hmm. So you're gonna hold them in because I don't like offend anybody. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. BS. Right. It's total BS. Well, mm -hmm. the time you brought that homeless guy yeah. at the Huku, not Huku Hano Hano Awards, yeah. I was falling out of my chair, and the guy was up there messing up. And then Augie <laughs> looks at the audience, he goes, What you like for five bucks? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and everybody oh, was oh. so offended. Oh, everybody oh, yeah. was offended. <laughs> the whole I think that was like you know I I think I'm the I think Andy and Frank's generation is like you know you say sorry after you do them yeah, yeah, yeah. my you my generation was like tone it down boy tone it tone it down mm -hmm. and then now the kids are like they they so afraid yeah. to like walk even in. express themselves yes. yeah. yeah 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 so yeah. you know again it's that it's we're evolving yeah but like Frank was saying he gonna continue to do shows. Mm -hmm. To people who want to come watch mm -hmm. Frank or come watch Andy, yeah, expect to mm -hmm. see that. only yeah, those people. Because I made yeah. many mistakes to take a gig. Yeah. That's yeah. why I don't do comedy. You know, somebody go, "Hey, can you do my graduation party? Can you MC?" I go, "Yeah, but no comedy. Mm -hmm. Why? Because half of the people in there probably never went to a comedy show. Mm -hmm. And if you do the wrong joke." Man, they not oh. only telling the people that they telling everybody what he mm -hmm. said, and not even say what I really meant or how, yeah. what angle did I take it's to like get to there. It's like getting clickbait on social media. They don't yeah. hear the whole story. They, they don't, don't know who it. you are. They and don't I've see seen your attacks on yeah. you because <laughs> maybe you said everybody's Hawaiian, right? Or maybe, and and that's the society that we live in. Mm -hmm. Try to make a mistake in a city council, you know, or vote against something that's not popular, right? Mm -hmm. And or that, just share a different life. view, just like yeah. trying to bring a new perspective. And that's why comedy is so important because it's mm -hmm. the one place, right? It should be safe. Where you can escape. Yeah. escape. Yeah. Yeah. When, he, when he went into politics, I, politics, <laughs> I said, you'll do well. Because politics is just like comedy, except we can admit we're lying. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
thing that my this my skin got you know got tougher because oh. of comedy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's nothing more like so bad when you're there because I had the same experience. He had. Yeah, uh, Henry Capono. By the way, whenever Henry Capono comes to any of my show, I die. I don't know why. <laughs> and it started when I was doing Oasis, <laughs> opening for Booga Booga. I thought I was like, ooh, I got him. And I, Andy came in, did a guest spot. Some other people came in, did a guest spot. Then I went up and I ate like chess. And I remember sitting outside. <sighs> oh, I quit. <laughs> Where's Melvin? <laughs> it's the same. I did the same thing. Boy. <laughs> Go get better, you know. But it's yeah. it's made it's made that way because. The, the, but you know what? I I just we are a reflection. Yes. We don't. You know, it's like you know. Remember the the bit I do about um, the the um, non ethnic joke. Right. Right. I tell, I tell this joke about, and I said, of no particular ethnicity, he's enjoying a malasada. And he's a little nervous because he locked his keys in the car and the top is down, right? You don't have to say <laughs> right. Boragui, right? No. But everybody, boom. Yeah. And that's why, like, when he sang those songs, yeah. you know, we automatically saw pictures. Mm-hmm. But he oh. didn't invent the, the stereotype. If you didn't believe it, mm-hmm. it wouldn't be funny. He's showing the the, it, yes. the mirror. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's yeah. what makes exactly. it funny. Yeah. Yeah. And stereotypes have it's truth like, in them. Oh. My thing is like, if you don't believe it's true, why are you offended? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Like, why I, are you like break the mirror yeah. for? Why are you like bring a dumb rock and break one mirror? Right. Yeah. With just stupidity. Just stupidity. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, I, I do this thing where I say, you can tell all the jokes you want about professional Popolo surfers, right? But there aren't enough that people would go, that's funny. Mm-hmm. Right. Because it's not a reflection. Right. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. There no, are, I, one, I, by the way. I agree. No, I I agree. I'm I'm in this generation of like, you know, anything goes kind of thing. We we're too sensitive. I think I think we we have so much convenience and we have so many things that may have made our life easy that we look for problems. Like I've I've lived abroad and I've seen how the rest of the world lives and like yeah. they actually got problems. And here, like our biggest problem is if you called me he or she, you know. Yeah. Like stuff like that. Like for I know a whole bit about that. And no, but that's that's what that's my generation. Yeah. yeah and yeah. it's like, bro, people don't have water. People are starving, and yeah. you're offended that somebody called you didn't say they pronoun. So somebody didn't say they, and that doesn't even make sense grammatically. Yeah. yeah you know, yeah. like oh, so, I got a I got a bit about that. Yeah. Thing. But you know, it, it's interesting. That's the, that's the thing that they invent problems. You know, it's because like, our life is too good. Yeah. And they and but they still like complain that life is hard. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, f- all first world problems. Yeah. No, totally. <laughs> totally. Dude, yeah. When you, like, when you you're saying first when you live someplace like when Sam Kennison first came out, right? And we were at the comedy store, and he did this bit about there are people that walk six miles to get water and carry it back to their village. Why don't they move closer to the water? <laughs> <laughs> right, can you imagine oh, if you did that joke now? If you did, oh, yeah. oh, like, oh, oh gosh. Just, oh, that's like, and, 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 you know, and, like, you know, like I said, like, you know, that's I do it, idea, I do though. it now because it's like, I need that escape. Yeah, and you're so everybody, polished now, right, yeah. Right, well, everybody needs yeah. that escape too. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that's why comedy... I, I think comedy, you know, is here to stay and, you know, and I think people beginning, I think maybe they started to understand, like, you know, if you come in looking for something, you're going to find them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're yeah. going to find them. Yeah. You like hear Frank do a Filipino song and you like get mad, you're going to get mad. Yeah, exactly. Well, but, you know, there are people who will laugh at, at your whole, you know, act until you do one, one. thing yeah. and all of a sudden they're offended and Correct. you are the worst comic in the world, yep. right? Yep. Re- regardless of everything. And then, well, and then now you get comics who think that is so funny and edgy to say something. Oh, yeah. The, that's like the worst. Like, you're just being edgy to be oh, edgy. Yeah. Not mm-hmm. being funny, you're just being edgy. Yeah. And I think that 
makes it hard for yeah. any working comic, you know. That well, I'm Bobby Slayton one time, we were in San Francisco, right? And, uh, <laughs> you know, now this is San Francisco, right? right. And there was this um, uh, lesbian in the front, and she was kind of heckling him. And he said, ah, an angry lesbian. I'm sorry, I guess that's redundant. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, please. Oh. <laughs> the place goes up for grabs, and of course, her and her yeah. of significant other. Yeah. Yeah, they just, but I, I try to do that now. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No, I, I think there's a level of self awareness that you have to have to be okay with everything. Yeah. You know, because like if you know your flaws, you know your strengths, you know, if somebody's just saying something to joke, yeah. you know, it's not true, then just laugh, laugh it off. Yeah. If you really think it's true, that's probably why you're offended because there's truth in it. That's, well, that's all I, it I is. Remember, I, you know, remember, uh, Kiki, my, my, uh, my, my dog, I had a black dog, right? And people come to my house. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I had to do. <laughs> but I thought you was Filipino. <laughs> yeah. How yeah. come you still get your dog? <laughs> I mean, but that's. You, you should say, I'm a rancher. I'm a... <laughs> is that your coconut? Brown on the outside, white on the inside. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. Well, yeah, I know. But, you know, it's... <laughs> but, you know Frank, you, you, when you go to the schools, you talk about the difference between being offensive in speech and funny, right? There's a difference mm. between, you know, making people laugh, Yeah, yeah. Right? I, I always make sure that the kids understand that, you know, to them it's funny, but to, the, to other people it may not be. And in their situation, they are not comedians. They're not professional. So us professional comedians, when we decide to become comedians, then we can, we're going to have to... Um, realize that people are, may come up to us and complain. Mm -hmm. So you don't have that. So the best thing to do is to make sure that they understand where you're coming from. So if you have a joke, you go up to the person and you say, I got a joke about a, uh, and tell them what it's about, mm -hmm. a horse, a cow, whatever it may be. And hey, if they say, okay. Never mind about cow. Oh, cow, okay, yeah. <laughs> So if they don't, that's right. I'm a that's vegan. What that's what I told them. So I tell the kids, if you say cow, and then they say, oh, I don't like jokes about cows. You yeah. know, the kids laugh. But I said, there's people that will not like jokes mm -hmm. about cows. So you have to make sure yeah. that you tell them you have a joke and what the joke is about. Mm -hmm. If they say okay to that, then I don't. I told them 95. 99% of the time, they're going to laugh. Right. And if they don't laugh, they may not catch it. Right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, don't ever think. So, that, so I explain what a joke is, but I don't tell any jokes in, when I go to you the know, school. You uh, know, George Carlin, he said, you know, there are certain topics people say you can't do jokes about. Like rape. <laughs> well, like what? Rape. Oh, yeah. yeah. He says, so I want you guys to imagine Elmer Fudd Raping Porky Pig. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> he goes, come on. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But, you know, there are certain subjects mm -hmm. you go ahead. Carlin, yeah. it's something else, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. Well, Carlin. He yeah. 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 I feel like it's kind of just when you think about, like, the things that are generally bad in this world. Murder, rape, like, stuff like that, you know? So I think it's just your own personal judgment and, like, yeah. Your values in life. That's right. But if you go yeah. in to see George Carlin, you you, you gotta, gotta kinda expect, expect that. that. Yeah. Expect that. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. like you come to see me, yeah. right. then there's yeah. gonna be certain things that you expect. That's why they come. Yeah, yeah. You know, but they may bring along somebody. Oh, no, I love you know? it when yeah. I go to the show and uh, Frank does, you know, a Filipino song because I know that's what got everybody all mad back in the day. <laughs> Not everybody. Yeah. I just look at people. Not everybody. I just stare. Everybody. Yeah. When people go to Filipinos, eighty-five <laughs> percent. <like, laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I go on. <laughs> but, but tell Frank, me your Frank favorite. Did. <laughs> but tell me your favorite thing isn't about it isn't hearing a comic come up with an observation uh, or a twist on something where you go, oh, I wish I would have done yeah. that. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and it's that to me is what true stand-up comedy is when when people are nodding yeah. and laughing because they go, I never yeah. saw yeah. And you know, yeah. most of the time, the reason why it works, it's usually the first thing that something, somebody told me this a while back. They said like, whatever made you laugh at that moment, if you can recreate that in your mind and do yeah. it the exact way, 
And that's why, like, you know, I still get on high when people laugh at your joke at the punchline because we're at the same level. They're going, mm -hmm. oh, I feel that. I remember that, right? And that's the beauty of it. Yeah. So, like, when you, when you get offended by something, like, you don't live in that. What world do you live in? Mm -hmm. You cannot laugh at watching somebody fall. But you know what, man? <laughs> That was the beauty of you bringing the homeless guy to the Hokohanohano Awards. It was the juxtaposition right. of these people who spent more on their outfits than this guy spends in a year. Correct. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and that, it's putting that in people's faces. I went, oh, man, yeah. so brave. But mm -hmm. yeah, I, I've lost that. <laughs> I've lost that edge. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I love I'm always reminded now, you know, Augie, you are a council member, 24 7, seven days a week. But yeah, now, I cannot talk about that. Yeah, but now I'm PC. Yeah, well, speaking of Edge, like, you all are clean comedians. Correct, that, that's yeah. one thing that you guys stand by. I remember listening, I was listening to the It's a Whitey thing um, with Lanai, and yeah. you were on the episode, and you said uh, you, had, you were supposed to open for somebody. And they wanted you to be it was more Rodney edgy. Was Dangerfield? Yeah, and then no, you said he, no. He was doing a show, and he and I was the only clean com uh, mm -hmm. comedian that he wanted to have on. And he said, "Can you be dirty a little bit so you don't stand out so much? You mm -hmm. look like Peter Pan." Yeah, I said I wouldn't, and instead he chose um, Sam Kennison, wow. and and that was the his breakout role. So yeah, yeah it's a Showtime special. Yeah, yeah was remember watching. So yeah. what, what's the reason behind that? Because uh, <coughs> yeah, yeah, I'll, go ahead. I, know, I was listening, well, you know, but, you know, I got to tell you, I was listening to one of Frank's old songs. Yeah. The anti, anti. Ecte poa a, moe le po, anti pila. Dude, when I was little, I was like. Oh, no, oh, kole, no, au, But it's true. It's true. She no wants her oh, kole, then go be stink. Facts. Facts. Moe le po. But that was like the most edgiest thing. I never swear. I know, but still, like, you know, when you. In English. Oh, when you English. People don't understand that anyways. I wanted to do that. I was like, Ma, can I do that? Mama, no, no. Yeah, not, no. Never you had I, yeah, because I wanted for dress up. I wanted for do the whole. I, it's amazing that you go to the church luau or whatever right, yeah. and you get these aunties, you know, they go dress in the mumu yeah. yeah. and they dance that song. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like going, oh my God, they actually, you know, they have a popular song. And then Robert back Casimero then, comes back from the side. Like, hmm. <laughs> but you, you never know had, it, but it was pronounced <laughs> correctly. <laughs> yeah, but I was pronounced it correctly. Yes. You know, my father spoke fluent Hawaiian, mm. but he never did speak it. At mm. all. Yeah. Well, yeah. Otherwise, I would be, you know. Well, you know a lot, and a lot you incorporate a lot of different languages into your, yeah, well, your yeah. parody. Growing up with, with yeah. a neighborhood I had, yeah. I was yeah, lucky. All kind, yeah. Lucky. But that, but that generation, you know, our parents' generation, mm -hmm. they were punished for speaking mm -hmm. um, um, yeah. Hawaiian yeah. in school. Yeah. You know, that, that was my dad's I generation. didn't know my father spoke it fluently until later on, you mm -hmm. know. But yeah. Wow. I know that. Yeah. Some of that. And then you go, to, you go to school and instead of doo, doo you say, oh, I got to make uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Man, he is lucky. My dad spoke Lickens. Lickens, that's right. He never said one word. It was my just mom, left my or phone. right hand. <laughs> that's right. Yes. What was his dialect? Yeah. yeah. It's I almost like listen. Morse code, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. But and, you know, I don't know if you're picking up on it, but you know, that's the great thing about when you're hanging with a comic. We, it's like, you know, that uh, uh, like volleyball, the ball mm -hmm. keeps yeah, going back. Yeah. And you take Except it. I, I just, I'm just the referee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're going to break it next. For soon. most of today. For most of today. No, no, for you're the volleyball. Oh, I'm the volleyball. <laughs> 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 oh my god. So, well, so what's the decision on just sticking to clean comedy? Because you know, you see these days and you know, even when I was growing up, there are some edgier comics and said well, they say some crazy things. Well, you know, two of my favorite comics are Bill Burr and um and Chappelle, mm -hmm. right? But people say, Well, how can you say that you work clean? The reason I work clean and I encouraged um and and Frank was the inspiration. If you want to work in Hawaii, how are you going to get gigs with a number of different, you know, uh, with the businesses for Christmas parties? If you swear, you swear one time, mm. the Sheraton's going to go, oh, we can't have him for mm. a Christmas yeah. party. Yeah. So it was an economic decision on my 
They, and then all of a sudden you get muscle memory, cannot swear. Yeah. Mm. You know, I mean, you know, it's like being on the radio, right? You, you know, uh, I'm not going to put up with that stuff because <laughs> <laughs> it won't come out of your mouth. Yeah. 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 And I, I notice uh, people like Tumor and Xavier, they stick with the clean comedy, yes, which is yeah. what I, I love about them. And it, I think it it's more relatable to people because hearing a swear word every now and then, it makes it funny, you yeah. know? Yeah, you know, instead of saying "oh, that effing so, whatever," you know, it's it's so, different you know, when you say a, the word. Yeah, you know? sometimes you know you forget yourself. You know, yeah. like me on stage once in a great while. Yeah, you know, like I heard you Frank know. say, "Damn, one time. damn," <laughs> or or, or sh- <laughs> <laughs> Sam, you brought out the holy water. <laughs> the one, power time, of Christ no, one time, one no, time, I've, I've seen, I've seen, <laughs> I've seen Frank slip several times. Uh, really? That's why, that's why we get a release. The documentary, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, the beginning is like, time, oh, you thought you knew Frank DeLima. <laughs> one time I was dressed as his angel on top of Christmas tree. It was like a huge outfit. And I had to get, get on top of this box. And I was an uh, angel on top of the tree. And it was, look at me. I'm this angel stuck on top of this <laughs> and I couldn't say it. <laughs> Funny. I, I, saw my, uh, I saw my mother's face in front of me. And, uh, and, uh, I was supposed to say freaking. Mm-hmm. That's what my uh, we saw. Oh, yeah. a good friend yeah. of mine. And she said, say it. You know, <laughs> doing dress rehearsal. I could. I said, nah, no Could've need them. Said. You do not need that song, mm-hmm. that word. This goes on this Christmas tree. Not funny. I said, yeah. well, I'll, I'll make it funny. I'll I'll just make oh like that or mm-hmm. something. You make a make a face, yeah. Yeah. But you yeah, know, I had time to even say that word. <laughs> not Paul that. Of Gata asked Don Ho one time if in his act, instead of you know, the F word, he could say freaking. Yeah, freaking. Instead, right? And Don said, you know, <laughs> freaking. He's a relative of the word, you know, like shit. <laughs> <laughs> so they know each other. So they know each mind. other. Never yeah. mind. Uh, but, but and that you know, tone we, and that voice, you know, speaks la la coming from Don. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, boy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the first time I met Don was with Andy. Oh, and yeah. uh, it was uh, Polynesian Palace, the Polynesian. Soccer Mom Show. You yeah, remember the sure. Soccer Mom Show, Frank? Yeah. Yeah, he was like, boy, I'm going to give you $20. Mm-hmm. And then Andy goes, just take them. <laughs> <Just take laughs> the For him, that's big money. <laughs> no, said, just take right. the $20. <laughs> I did this joke about Don. I said, you know, Don, you know, everybody thought he was Hawaiian, but he's Chinese Hawaiian. And I never believed it until he died on April 14th. One day before taxes were due. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Very and true. talk about pioneers, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah. And he was funny, he helped too. helped me. He helped me. You yeah. know, he he saw my talent. And uh, I was at the noodle shop already. And so you, these big boys come in, you know, to the noodle shop. And uh, it was for Ariyoshi's uh, Neighbor Island Tour. He was, he was running again. And... We ended up at the stadium full. It was just half, even on the the, the grass. Uh, they put up chairs, and it was more than fifty thousand people there. Mm-hmm. Wow! And and uh, but it ended there. But every island we went to, it was just packed with people. Yeah. It was unbelievable. Don had me the new comedian. We get one new comedian come on the stage, <laughs> and we like him do his. Uh, you go do the Japanese radio. Do you know the Japanese radio? Yeah, go do that one. Yeah. Yeah. And so he, so then I go on. I do my radio coho, and the place creep, crack laughing. Especially you know, go Kekaha. We still get Japanese camp over there back then, and all these babangs and oji songs are all in the audience. They're screaming, laughing. Cannot believe. You know, this this Portuguese kid is doing that, right? Yeah. So Don uh, gave me a brand new audience from yeah. the very beginning. And I released my Portuguese washerwoman right after that. And it did wonderfully, Amazing. you know, so, yeah. But and, performing at his audience, you know, it, it was like performing on the mainland because it was 99% tourists, mm-hmm. you know. When you what, worked with Don. When, when he worked with mm-hmm. uh, at the Polynesian Palace. At Palace. Yeah. yeah. That and, you know, and I did that a lot to try to get the legs to go to the mainland mm-hmm. because, you know, and the, this joke never worked. I said, you'll hear me say the word holy. 
if you don't know what a howl is, you are one. Very <laughs> 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 guys. <laughs> you had to do Don Ho show when he had all all tourists. Yeah, yeah no. when he was at the palace before he went to the uh, dome. Yeah. No, I, I think oh, we all did that specifically. Yeah, that's, oh. that's part of the Don Ho mm. as the blessing. We you, you go there, right? Because yeah. Andy introduced me to Frank. Uh, Andy and introduced me to, to Don, and I just remember he had me sit next to him the whole show. Yeah, yeah. And then he would stop and go, "Don't even mind what your mahu kids." <laughs> <laughs> How you sit? It's yeah. like no, and you just did it. Yeah, you, you just know, did it. Talk about a brave entertainer. I tell you something. He did a thing here, and where there was a young lady who came on. You know how guest artists right. always do. So she came on. She sang a song. Right. He goes, "Thank you, thank you." Kind of smattering of applause. She goes, "Wait, wait, wait, wait. come back here. Try sing them again, but this time one key lower." Huh? I had one kilo. Honey, honey, come here, man. Go try them again. One more kilo. Oh, no, 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 no. A little more applause. He goes, honey, honey, four times. Wow. One kilo till finally she's, I will do da, da, down here, right? And it was magic. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, everybody, oh, oh, bro! Amazing. Just like this, same song, and he goes, "That's your key." Amazing, uh-huh. and that's it. And I went, "Who else would do that?" Yeah, mm-hmm. he didn't even give a rip. He introduced Taimani you know, with the uh, with the ukulele. Yeah, Taimani Gardner. Yeah, Taimani Gardner. What that? He goes, "I want to introduce you to one lady here. She played uh, ukulele." which I believe is one of the most aggravating sounding instruments <laughs> on the planet. <laughs> oh, my God. He's here for time. Money gone. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, the setup was, like, always the best. <laughs> no yes. setup. No, like, <clears throat> go. You got to go. Uh, yeah, and then oh. I set up so... Yeah, yeah, but so, when you get to that kupuna status, you can say whatever you like. Yeah. Nobody can say anything. Yeah. Yeah. But there's so much things that you I learned. I learned that. So Don used to meet every one of his audience before the show started. Mm. I was like, why you did that? And then ask him, he's like, you're like going to be your friend before you get on stage. Mm. No, that's so, not what it's about. I don't know, but that's what he told oh, me. Oh, like, bro, you want yeah? to know the truth. Yeah, tell okay, me. Okay, because, you know, brother, because I do away, that now. So I don't need to worry, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah you don't need to look over your shoulder. <laughs> Chinese. Yeah. Right? He says, you know, you take a picture with people after the show. They got to wait next one, two days before uh, they get their picture. They might buy it. They might not buy it. You take the picture before the show. After the show, they walking out. They see their picture with you and mm. and them. They buy them. Yeah. Mm. I saw eighty percent more pictures taking the picture before the show, even though it was a hassle, right? Because everybody go, "What's he doing signing autographs before mm. the show?" But boom, he, he was a yeah. good business. No, no, we That's did the smart, same thing. Yeah. That's why, like, so I yeah, I maybe picked up on that, like, because you remember we. Do the, we did the comedy chamber. We'd fill yeah, in yeah. for Don's room. And we'd do the yeah. same thing, Randy. Take picture. Yeah. We would leave a space so you can sign them after. Remember us with the big white, yes. the big white card. We would take a picture. With a big I, white card like this. Holding a big white card. And people go, what, what is that? What yeah. are you doing? I said, that's for what we That's sign. a space you can <laughs> sign in. But then he also told me that's a great way to like look at you. Yeah. Because a lot of comics or a lot of people hide behind the scene before going on. And, 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 yeah. I don't know. I, I like it talking to everybody before. Mm-hmm. like Because it, 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 I'm nervous. It doesn't mm-hmm. matter if it's three or I always get nervous before the show. But I just feel like. And yeah, that makes sense. It loosened you up, mm-hmm. and uh, and yeah, yeah maybe you can sell. Like you, you build yeah. some sort of you can rapport. sell a mm-hmm. lot of more. Well, pictures. remember the noodle shop? After every break, he would wander around the audience. You and Keko Eva and Tilton back we, in the day. Noodle shop was was awesome. Yeah, mm-hmm. and but before and after the show, we uh, would be there with everybody. Them. Came there. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was a lot Except of me, other entertainers. I could never get into that show. In high school, I tried. I tried. I tried. Small room food. this way. <laughs> couldn't even, I couldn't get in. Yeah. I, you know, that was the thing to do, right? You go junior prom, senior prom. Yeah. Frank Dillon my show. Couldn't get in. Couldn't get in. And then he never like talked to me at the market. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, this guy don't like me yeah. coming to his show. He didn't like me talk to me. And it's I amazing. I work for you, I did one more time. 
One thing I do, not talk to him. And that's going to be it's stuck in his head yeah. forever. forever. That happens to every human being on this earth. There's always one thing they do to somebody, and they're going to bring them up forever. And ever. Yeah, never let you forget. Never. That's I go tell that story. Like well, at his funeral, I go tell that yeah. story. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm going to tell that story when, when Frank died. Then my friend was. Yeah. Thank you. And, and I will release now, now, uh, now, uh, uh, Nali of comedy. <laughs> Nali. Yeah. Here's another no. Don Ho ism, right? As, as I was getting you know, more well known, right? I'm out with him and someone went, hey, hey Andy Bumatai. Oh, Don Ho like that. And he goes, oh, you're getting recognized there now. So you have sent back your last state. I went, what? He goes, now, from now on, you cannot send anything back or complain about oh. anything in a restaurant because that waitress, for the rest of her life, will tell people you're a jerk. Mm. <laughs> That's right. Like, I, I, like there's this comic I know who always talks about another comic he met at a grocery store, right? <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> Everybody went. No, no, Frank told me why he did that because he's like, ah, I don't need to be doctor right now. Like, <laughs> he wanted to eat his breakfast. Yeah. He came. I remember what he came in for: oh, egg man. and orange juice. This I show know. is gonna drive your editor nuts. Yeah, like that's Frank. him. Oh, oh <laughs> that's why he just I mean, left. One hour show. It's two. Bro, we two. already. We're, we're already, already, uh, we're already yeah. like one hour and 30 minutes. It's funny because you're the Portuguese, but they talk you more. I tell you. No <laughs> okay. chance. I had lots of gems. <laughs> but well, we're going to get into social media fan questions right okay. after this. We got oh. questions for everybody. Right. So let's take a quick shishi break and we'll be right back. Okay. What if we told you the next three times you fill your tank, you could save money? Well, at Texco in Hawaii, it's true. You can get $1 off per gallon on your next three visits when you download the Texco app and join Texco Rewards. Earn points on every fuel transaction and qualifying in-store purchases at participating Texco stations. Download the app and join to get started today. Visit TexcoHawaii.com for details. Uh, aloha, everybody. We're back from a quick shishi break. Let's get it right into the social media fan questions, okay? First one. Is from my dad, Michele Halilu, 33. He says, can Andy's tutu character introduce her Hawaiian Filipino granddaughter's Barbie's older new boyfriend, Ken, Augie, to tutu's Portuguese Hawaiian neighbor, Frank, to teach him the history of Hawaii? No. <laughs> oh my God. Next question. <laughs> well, I, I, Did I you guys catch I all lost. of that? <laughs> yeah. Can we what? <laughs> you you, you got to yeah. play tutu. And do what? Tutu's character introduced her Hawaiian Filipino granddaughter, Barbie's older new boyfriend, Ken. I, I, can't keep up. <laughs> I think these are all characters that yeah, you guys that played. That we played. Yeah. Who's Ken? That's, I did I did this. His. I did this whole yeah. remember I did this whole Barbie doll. Oh, amazing. Man, that, yeah, yes. He's a, I guess he knows. Right? Yeah. Uh, he knows wow. the history. I have to ask him about this. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, I got it. Because okay, Tutu, right? You guys both kind of played tutu because he played. I did the four tutu. Yeah, four tutu. That's the tutu he stuck. Yeah, you played. So you And he said you would always teach about the history of Hawaii. I like no about that, but I can remember a question. Can? Can? Huh? Oh what? No can. Yeah. But, but I not Ken. I'm Mahu Ken, so I get Bobby's body, Ken's head. <laughs> For two, 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 two. <laughs> no, and that's... I have to teach this thing. This uh, thing. Yeah, this thing right them, now. They have to teach them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The I'm... history of Hawaii. Make aloha mai kai humehana no ho. Alamoana shopping center. Oh, my cow cow. I. That's it. Oh, shit. I. Dowry. I think audience. you're dead sabotaging your show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's punking you. Right now. No, no, no. This is making it better. We're going we're gonna to cut this. It's going to be the most popular clip of the whole entire episode. <laughs> nice. There's the short. <laughs> Okay, well, mahalo for that. Next question comes from Nate.hara. This person says, do you have a book of jokes? I do not. 
We got one over here. Yep. Where can we find it? No more. Out of print. Oh. But it, yeah, it was pretty popular. Uh, but this was way back in the 90s, I think. You got to find them uh, at like a, an antique store. If you yeah. want to hear the jokes in that book, come see my act. <laughs> <laughs> on July 26, <laughs> right? And at then the Father's Mac. Day the at Mac. the Blue Note. <laughs> I actually got Frank DeLima's joke book. You got him? I got him. Oh, you get that for big bucks. In fact, Lanai and I, when I was doing radio with Lanai, we did the Lanai and Augie joke book, right? And yeah. all we did was take Frank DeLima's joke and made them different. Oh. <laughs> paraphrase them, paraphrase oh. them. Yeah. But back in the day, who cares? I don't care. Me plenty of money doing that. Put them on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> we did the joke book, but we just, you know, just change, change them. them around a little bit. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you said uncle. I said big uncle. <laughs> <laughs> And that was the only thing they changed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you got a book. You got the copy of the book. And I did a joke you, book. And you do, you have a joke book. Yes. Okay. So you could make copies of his joke book, add them to yours as like a bundle, make extra money. That might be a thing. That might be a thing. That might be a thing. But wait till after the... Yes. Start passing them out at the... Correct. This is back when people read books. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, now that now they have an audio book, <laughs> yeah, podcast. <laughs> it's called a podcast. That's, nice. <laughs> That's an idea, Frank Dilima. Put your whole joke book on app. Oh yeah, wait. That's actually oh, a good idea. Yeah. Audio book. I mean, if you're gonna retire, you might as well record Frank right Dilima. That's a possibility. He's not, right he not even asking In for royalties. Society, what What do you think? You well, only go. ones that want to listen or the ones that go make trouble. Guarantee it would be a big hit. That's forever. That's wherever. That's yeah. when you're in heaven. Go get people right. doing your holding right. you guy going to the airport, trying to sign left and went home. They go <laughs> home. They yeah, go. Yeah, they exactly. go do that joke. I promise. <laughs> promise. Yeah. And yeah. Go, they're gonna be hearing it. Your voice. Your voice will be immortalized for the next 100 years. everyone who goes to the airport. Yes. Yeah, that's, oh, actually, yeah. A really, that's actually a really good airport idea. Left, go. yeah. yeah, put them on. I, I miss those jokes. That's the jokes we heard like at the dinner table growing up. Oh, you got two, you got one Portuguese, one yeah. Japanese, one Filipino. Oh, they all yeah. bring lunch or whatever and then the punchline is like, they all jump. They gotta jump off if they don't like That's it. Fun. And then the and then the oh, Portuguese, yeah. he packed. He's like, I don't know why he did that. He packed his own lunch. Yeah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Those are all the jokes yeah. I remember growing yeah. up. Yeah. There's a there's a purity to a good Portuguese. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, it has to have that purity. You know, my favorite is. The, the Portuguese buys the pizza. Oh, you like me cut this in six <laughs> pieces, or you like me cut them in eight? Hey, cut them in six. I cannot eat yeah. eight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I, that was yours, man. <laughs> so good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Frank's getting flashback. Yeah, yeah. Frank's getting flashback. Dude, we all read those we you know, saw the jokes in a yeah. book. You should do it, Frank. I think that first letter came from <laughs> because of those jokes. <laughs> That's I right. had poems. Give them to Augie. When you, when you go out, you Frank, Frank, they got like so much The biggest jokes hit on then. my radio show is those dad jokes. Dad jokes. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. The and dad, it's yeah. the dad jokes. <laughs> the dad jokes, basically. Yeah. yeah. And can you imagine every local kid will have them on the app. Bring them back. Yeah, Bring, them back. Them. Bring them back. Bring them back. And do the joke. The, 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 the Portuguese painting lines. Yeah. Right? Portuguese mm -hmm. painting lines. First day, five miles. Yeah, Second see. day, three miles. Last day, only one mile. The <laughs> boss said, hey, Portuguese, what's wrong? Hey, what you expect? Every day, the paint can more Yo. far away. <laughs> 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 Frank, oh, right? In your Come voice. on. Uh, yes, I'd buy that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People download that, Frank. All oh, right, Frank. Look, he think. Yeah, he think. Yeah, okay. He think. We give you some you time know, to think. You know, uh, how much monosodas you can buy. <laughs> we can pay for your casket. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's and passive income right there. <laughs> we can help you. We, I got some connections. See, <laughs> I, wrote, I, I didn't. I got one book too. It's right, Amazon easy. You have a book out. I have a book out. Yeah, mm -hmm. easy. What's the name of it? So far, I think it's it's right under here. Look at that. It's about oh. my time in the Peace Corps. Wow. What, and what is it about? Uh, just some reflection, reflection poem, blog post about my time when I was in Peace Corps Madagascar. 
I think we all have a Madagascar, Madagascar you know what, memory. That Madagascar. We carry. <laughs> Everybody can relate to it. All local people. Madagascar, I'm in. Right. <laughs> right. That's the kind of you use that, like, people would call me. I always do this when, you know, local brothers call me. Hey, well, you think you can do my crime, my baby party? I'm saying, mm, nah. oh. shit, I'm going to gig in Madagascar. <laughs> well, you you got to be careful. You say Madagascar to local people. They think that's road rage. Right. <laughs> What? You mad at what? I was eating that nice car. I would say like, like oh, I'm going to be in Czechoslovakia. Oh, well, you, hey, God bless you. Make sure you fly safe. <laughs> God bless you. No, no. No Czechoslovakia. <laughs> 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 Is that right next to the guy, Haliva? <laughs> Ah, okay. That's funny. Well, next question um, comes from Kimberly underscore Ray underscore. This person says, who's the funniest guy? Now, you know what? I'll take, let me take that mm -hmm. question. I want to see how you guys answer this. Comedy is like ice cream. Everybody has a flavor they like. Mm -hmm. Excellent. W one person cannot be, like when they have comedy competitions, mm -hmm. drives me oh. nuts. Some people think, you know, uh, Chappelle is the, the, you know, the best thing since sliced bread. Some people can't stand it, mm -hmm. right? It's, it's a personal taste. That's yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a good answer. And that's the one I usually give. Yeah. Yes, that's a good Was well, Frank DeLima until he said, uh, he didn't like talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> Is it five times now or six times? We'll, we'll listen back and we'll see. We'll have a counter. Right. We'll have a and then when you, do the comes clip, up on the screen. when you do the clip, you do the yeah. for one section. Yeah, okay, yeah. do all of yeah, them. Yeah, one clip is this going to be the trailer of the episode. It'll be this Augie brings out. That's right. And then, really, and the thumbnail is these guys in front of a grocery store. Uh -huh. <laughs> we'll have Augie on a little body. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. funny. That's a, that's a great answer. Yes, it's very subjective, and yeah, yeah. Some people like Rocky Road. Some people like Cherry Garcia. Some people like Vanilla. Some people like. And Eddie will tell you some of the best comics on the road that you will never see mm -hmm. on yeah. TV. I mean, some of the road comics. I whenever I go like off island and I'm on a continent, I go to the comedy club and I see some of the most funniest guys, polished, yeah. and they're making so little bit money, but they're there. They're there working every week, every day. Just because it's working more, the craft. It's more than having a great act in Hollywood. It's about the parties, who you know, mm -hmm. your shoes, <laughs> all these weird things that you would not expect. Yeah. We speak from experience. Yeah, yeah. As someone who did not make it. Mm -hmm. Frank, who's your favorite? Are you your are favorite you comedy? You agree? It was, and uh, it was Augie T until he kept bringing I, up the grocery store <laughs> <laughs> incident. No, right no. there, you should have said, well, you know, I was in this grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> Who's my favorite yeah. comedian? Yeah. I'm, I don't have a favorite. Yeah. <gasps> I have, I like planning. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. yeah. Take a little from everybody. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, when I was growing up, you know, there were a lot. Yeah. A local, they had Lucky Luck and Kick, you know, and Kick Kick Well, then Sterling Mossman. Yeah, Sterling Mossman. And then uh Kent Bowman. Yeah. And of course on the TV was the Three Stooges, mm, Lucille Ball, yeah. Red Skelton, Bob Hope, Carbonette. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I can go down yeah. the whole list and they all entertain me. Yeah, yeah. It's so. like Neapolitan. Sometimes you yes. eat a little bit more vanilla. Yeah. Sometimes you like the strawberry. Sometimes you get that. And I never did see. Rotate. <laughs> I never saw any comedian when I was growing up that I didn't mm -hmm. laugh. They, all of them made me laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Well, great answer. Next question comes from Ronnie six zero seven zero. Ronnie, this person says, "Were you funny as kids? Made the people around you laugh a lot." Yes. Me. Yeah. It's all clowns. Yeah, but you know, let, let me say something about being a class clown. OK, when a kid grows up and he plays the piano really well, everyone says, oh, prodigy. When someone paints a picture and the thing is perfect in sixth grade, ooh, prodigy. When a kid is funny, then funnier than anybody else, no one says prodigy. They go, oh, you know, he's, he's a nuisance. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> a nuisance. He send him to the office. Insubordination. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's disruptive. Mm -hmm. 
Huh? Nobody ever went, what a fun, what an interesting <laughs> take on a topic. Right. You yeah. know? But the, the classmates most times would laugh. It's the teacher that's always. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, I mean, how many times you got sent to the office? <clears throat> oh, I never did. I never did because I never did uh, do that in class. I, I, I never did. You were mm. I was scared. Mm. scared. I was scared. Yes, I was well, in my to, seat. To, to and the this, religious school. That's right. Catholic school, yeah. yeah. And uh, so, <clears throat> yeah, so I kind of was trained to know when and when not to. And wow. that's why I hardly got schooling. Mm -hmm. But I did imitations. I I do it in my show, right? I right. tell yeah, the yeah. story about me dressing up as Japanese singer and Chinese lion and and uh, imitating languages and and it was all within the neighborhood. And uh, from a little kid, from three years old up, you know, nine years old was probably when I started, you know, doing the costume thing, and Booth Park uh, Christmas show and all that, you know, summer fun. So I got involved with plays and stuff like that so but you weren't a class hmm. clown i wasn't a class clown. you're just a funny uh, the nun used to uh during the, um like you know when we had christmas time then i would be the one to go up and do a song a funny mm -hmm. song but it wasn't my song it was mm -hmm. a funny song that was recorded that i sang for the mm -hmm. class and everybody laughed but you know like um i did my imitations um, at Damien High School, I was always the MC for assembly. So I would do my imitations, Chinese language or whatever. I would introduce like the, um, the uh, president of the school. He just happened to be Chinese. And so so you, I would introduce him <laughs> in fake Chinese. <laughs> but nobody understands Chinese. Most people don't anyway. And yeah. that students do. So I go, what's it? Yes, I'm Papa Tai. Go to Hong Kong, you're Lanzi Lao. And everybody scream loudly and Lanzi will come up. Him laughing too, you know? So everybody was laughing. Because he goes, you know right what you said? <laughs> Guarantee you as a class clown. He just never know. He didn't know. You, you, Garrett, you were. Well, I'll tell you what, it, it was interesting because, um, again, the prodigy thing, and mm -hmm. I'm not saying I was one, but sometimes uh, I would say things and it, I was being serious. But everybody crack up, so every so the teacher would think I was a troublemaker. Mm. I'll give you a, a quick version, right? We were studying in science the Pavlov dog effect, right? So this girl goes, so I took my my brother and he was reading, and I took the book, I slam him on the table. Oh, he jumped! No, I ring a bell, slam the book, he jumped. So I wait a little while, ring the bell, slam the book again. He don't jump as much. Then I ring the bell, slam the book. He don't jump at all. So the Pavlov dog uh, effect does not work, in my opinion. <laughs> and I said, you should have slammed it on his head. <laughs> <laughs> you ring that bell, brother would jump. <laughs> so you never meant to be funny. It was just, but, but it's, right? Correct. If she, it's, right. Then, <clears throat> yeah, office. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. everybody go, ah! Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I did the same thing. Yeah. I did the same thing. I repeated no, 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 or I said quick. something that, like, you're not thinking that. And, like, uh, will just naturally come to you, right? Yeah, if yeah. You, somebody doing something, saying something, and and then everybody would laugh. But then one or two be looking at you like, my God, what's wrong with you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you a prodigy? Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, straight to the... Principal's office. Yeah. And he had no idea. Like, yeah. for me, a lot of times it was like that. Yeah, and the teacher was like, he's talk, he talks too much. Right. I got a lot of like, oh, he probably going to be a radio dish jockey. How long were they? <laughs> yeah, he had diarrhea in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he I used to get punished talking. for talking. But yeah. And it wasn't because of comedy. It was because no. I had something to say. See, uh -huh. I talked a lot. And I was sarcastic like Andy, not purposely sarcastic. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I, I think the, the difference would be that, you know, us with our upbringing, especially, it was kind of a defense. Correct. It was, it was, a, it was a barrier mm -hmm. so people wouldn't see that I, you got used clothes and your bebedees is all bus up mm -hmm. and, you know, all the things from. from or, uh, or yeah, it was a good way for not get beat up too. Mm. Uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Merites. No, no, no. Where you grew up? Uh, Kip I grew up Kali Valley. Oh, Kali Valley. Well, yeah. why not? Same thing. Mm -hmm. You you make them laugh, then you know. Yeah, you're the, you're the funny guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember 
while I'm, you know, my left eye, remember when it used to go out before mm. I had it fixed, right? And all the mocks, hey, bro, what's wrong with your left eye, eh, bro? <laughs> oh, sorry, I plenty of people why not right handed. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> okay, I think that that's a good perspective because okay. you know we do praise certain other things, but when it comes to like comedy or you know where you're seen as disruptive, because I got in trouble a lot in school too yeah. for just having a different perspective or just talking to your friends. Yeah. Or whatever, but you always you always punish. You know, I think that's why everybody learns in different ways and everybody has different strengths, and I think that's something that we need to work better on and nourishing yeah. those things. But again, no one ever went. You're a prodigy. <laughs> <laughs> they never said that. Yeah. Never. <laughs> never. Because uh, comedy's yeah. in that other field. But then, you know, you know yeah. we've changed that. We, ch I, get, I think well, kids now, I think kids now, right? You, you see a kid, you know, being really like overly uh, animated and they yeah. go, he could be something. Be Let him, let's something. nurture that, right? Mm -hmm. Us was, it was like, you have to discover that. Like I had no idea yeah. I belong in drama. No idea. No idea. Mm. But it's the perspective. Your Correct. personal perspective. Right. I think that also, that's what the difference. Just being stupid and acting mm -hmm. not Correct. Mm -hmm. one thing. But, you know, having like the homeless guy at the at the uh, Nahoku Hanawa, that's perspective. Yeah, wow. Yeah. And I don't feel so bad. I think we changed society, Andy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Everyone <laughs> together. <laughs> we are the world. All right. We're bringing the Nobel <laughs> Peace Prize. Come in. Let's come in. Let's go, man. You see? <laughs> we make you laugh so the place. And you, <laughs> why did you bring that homeless man into the Why? Why? Because it was topical. It's fine. It was, a it was topic topical. Thing. So, like, I remember the first time we went to the Nahoku Hano Hano Awards. Andy brought me. There's a great picture, by the way, of me, Andy, and Frank, yeah. right? With their so fingers the, in the ear. Correct. We were, I was a young guy. I was he, Andy's he opening act. He, no. Yeah, Andy won the Hoku yeah. or you won it? I don't know. No, so I didn't won it. Won it. No, I didn't. Oh, you didn't? No. It, must it was have been me and me. Rap. No, you won. Me, Rap. Because you, you're holding yeah. them. Oh, yeah. yeah, okay. And me and Andy, like, Jealous. Oh, no, man, yeah. no, I won, and then you came on stage. I, I should have won. won that. And then <laughs> rap came up. Yeah, then rap and came then, up. And, I should have won. And then this guy came. That's well, why we were I, all fighting for it. So then you went and you got the real big one in the, oh, yeah. on the wall. <laughs> and you said, nah, like that. He was holding him like that. And the, the disaster. Because the, 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 the Nahoku Hano, it kept going for me yeah. and then to him. Mm -hmm. And then rap took it from him. So I took the big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no. I think the the why did I do that? Because I just thought it was funny. It's funny. Oh, in my head, I never know that I was offending anybody. I just thought I was telling the truth. But then no, but the year what, before once that, you brought the homeless guy in. Yeah. Oh no, people you, are looking at me like, "What you doing?" But I was. You brought him up on stage. Yeah, I don't sit on the side, wait for me to like. Bring, <laughs> you didn't, you didn't have to watch present an award. Yeah, man. I made him present the award. Oh. Yeah, the whole place was <laughs> did, like. Did he smell? Oh. Dude was so bad. He was just the worst. Yeah, then, where you the got punch him from? Line. Huh? Yeah, where you, where you like? got him from? Well, I of China Town. No, got him from? I was because <laughs> I told Andy. I told Andy. I was telling Andy the joke, and I was like, "What do you think? Do it." And I'm like, "Okay, I'm gonna do it." <laughs> this guy. But like, so we had. I had no idea who. I just brought him. He just brought. Yeah, him. and I know the guy on um, speech. You know. Um, he had impediment. impediment, and oh. it was going to be even more funny oh, because more funny. he was but, a speech impediment. And the perfect punchline. What do you expect for okay. flat box? <laughs> so check this out. The year before that, right, uh -huh. Andy brings me. I'm nobody. He goes, hey, bring one hula hoop. This is how the idea is like start. Yeah. A year before this, he says, bring the hula hoop. You was there. Yeah. And I was his pigeon interpreter. <laughs> I, so I hold the hula hoop like this, yeah. and I go, How's it every no yeah? Thank you everyone for having us. Hey, how's it? Yeah. Except for me. You yeah. know how you get the lady for the pigeon impaired, right? For the yeah, pigeon yeah. impaired. Yeah. People love that. People still tell me about that, right? But like at those at those shows was like it's where mm -hmm. you can like, you know, make your stance on something. Yeah, yeah. Right? It's like people that slap out of comics at the Oscar. Mm -hmm. I just thought, man, what a great way to reach an audience that don't know nothing about me, yeah. you know, and 
And the edginess was not because I was trying to be edgy. I thought it was funny. Yeah, just you funny. genuinely thought right. it was going to make people And to most laugh. people that was there, mm -hmm. was not good. No, right? <laughs> Wrong audience. A couple guys in the Wrong back crowd. was like, dude, that's so funny. Yeah. But you know what, Augie? It's yeah. like, I don't know if you've ever done a show where people walked out, right? When people walk out of your show, the people that stay feel bonded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, now it's just us. Yeah. You know, mm. and that's what I got from. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. But look at that. I mean, how many years ago was that? I'm still Ooh, talking. Maybe yeah, about yeah. twenty. You made it. You but made the like mark so yeah. many times. You know, so many yeah. times. But yeah. you know, you do it because you know, like that made you laugh. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's why. Yeah, it's you a, know, all good intentions. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Well, this leads into this next question coming from, coming from Patreon from Ethan B. He says, how do you deal with drunk hecklers during your set? I, I don't get hecklers. I, I rarely get hecklers. Mm -hmm. I, 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 the only one I ever really got that was, you know, um, you know, uh, disruptive. I was mm -hmm. on the mainland at, on, at the, comedy, no, at the uh, comedy and Magic Club in Hermosa Beach. And this guy was heckling, right, one time. And there were plenty of local people. And this Holly guy was there, right? And I said to him, you know, bro. You don't need to worry about me. It's the people sitting around you. <laughs> they mm. ironed the shirt, you know what I mean? <laughs> Spent money, and now you're ruining their evening. I get paid anyway. For you know, don't worry about it. And these guys, right? Wow, they four local guys grabbed this colleague, picked him <laughs> up, walked him to the exit, and threw him out. <laughs> And I just said, you know, that's how I, but, but you know, at the comedy store, people, plenty of people would get heckled and they wouldn't heckle me. And then they'd heckle people after it. I think it's an attitude. Do you get heckled? Mm -hmm. I did. You like, I, you I like show you heckling? You told a story on. Uh, dude, I remember podcast. there were two that I remember. <clears throat> one was at the Brew Moon. One, and they had this uh, uh, Merchant Marine guys. They were sitting in the front row just drinking. And, wow. uh. You know, how the, all the young comics would go first. And then, you yeah, know, yeah. I went on late and I was doing my, and he was like, ah. and then he kept going. Ah. So I just said on the mic, I said, I'm going to wait outside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I went, I got off the stage. I was like, come on. Wow. Yeah. There's a golden glove box but coming like, out. And, like, <laughs> and then another time was on a big island. Guy wow. came in, was just drunk. Ah. And BJ Penn was there, and BJ was like, wow, that's part of that. That's part of the show. <laughs> I, I, it's so hard. That's why, like, we really prepare in our minds, yeah. and we prepare to, like, you know, give somebody the most amazing time, right? And, man, like, I was just, and the guy's brother or family member was an entertainer, so he should have known, like, mm -hmm. that the guy performed. And I was like, you know, I went outside, and that's what, I just go outside. Mm -hmm. And then, Frank, I can't see anybody heckling you. Well, when I first started no. in my career, I was a uh, bowling banquet. It was a private <laughs> gig. Those bowlers. Bowling banquet. Yeah. Was that, was that, <laughs> the Sheraton Waikiki. Not sure if the guy was drunk, but it was a big, top Portuguese guy. I, I yeah. swear he was. And uh, all of a sudden, I didn't even... I, I didn't say any Portuguese jokes, okay? Yeah. I was doing the beginning part of my career, whatever material I was doing, I didn't do any Portuguese jokes. And I remember that distinctly. This guy stood up and he's F you with the middle finger, you know, and mm. he's walking towards the back door. And the place was packed with like 300 people. F you, middle finger to the back door. And then he left. Uh, but I just that stood on stage. Everybody was quiet. He did his thing. When he left, I said, I said, okay, now I can continue with my show. You know, and I just continued with the show and everybody had a good time. That was my first. And that was at the beginning of my career. Well, you're lucky you after out. that, well, yeah, I really was. The, but after that, I always had um, at the showrooms, or everywhere I enter entertained, I always had somebody watching. For someone, if they did heckle me, then they would go up and say, excuse me, you have a phone call, or they would take them out. 
Mm. Wow. So I yeah. never did put up with that again. You're lucky it wasn't mm. on softball league. <laughs> 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 because, you know, they come in drunk or drugged. That's it. You, yeah, you, 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 have any you get them lines. out. Do you have any heckler line, prepared heckler lines in case? You know, no. like, oh, I remember my first beer. Yeah. Oh, no. You know, that kind of stuff. No, no, I, uh. I didn't. I just have the, like, but, and I was fortunate. Noodle Shop had Neil, and then at the p Palace had the yeah. doorman. You know, so they all were trained already. Yeah. So, so here, here's a line you can borrow, okay? Because, you know, on the mainland, you'd get a lot yeah. of those. Or next F time you, you go to yeah. the schools in the next couple of yeah, months, you know, you those, those schools, kids are vicious. You gotta be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody ever does it, here's, here's mine, right? F you! Ooh, how clever. Did you write that yourself or steal it from a 12-year-old? <laughs> because, you know, it's just fun. Give me, give me something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Be original. <laughs> yeah, F you! I mean, what? Just, ah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know if you, you can... One time, there was a gal on, and uh, or somebody was on, and I was in San Francisco at the um, punchline, right? And this guy gets kicked out. He yells at the comic, suck my yeah. Yeah, oh, and then they, So they threw him out, right? So I, so the guy was so shaken, he just, okay, thank you. He walked off. So I said, let me go back. Let me go on. Let me go on. Because I was following him. <laughs> I just walked on. I went, you know, it's guys like that that make it hard for the rest of us to get any head. <laughs> 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 but it was one of those moments. Yeah, yeah. The, the good crowd work. <laughs> Why yeah. do that? I don't get it. Mm -hmm. You know, what kind of... Yeah, uh, people are sad with their lives. I don't know what it is. How sad yeah. does your life be that you have to go there and ruin it for everyone yeah. else in the room as yeah. best you can? Right. Mm -hmm. Happens all the time. Same. That's how people on social media are. They're bored with their life, so they're commenting on other people's lives. Yeah, but the difference is these people are there in person. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. They're, they're these guys on social more. media would never do it in person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, totally. People who do it in person. Get guys that go yeah. there to just do that too, but yeah, I've known people that ah, uh, they just go there to try to be disruptive. So yeah. ugh, I don't if I have people in this show, I I say I'm very fortunate that like in my shows. They just speak up, mm -hmm. you know. They're the kind of like the auntie with the flower, but there was another auntie with the flower, and so I picked the one that was first. The other one raised her hand and think it's her. Now through the whole show, that is a that person is going to be my mark, mm -hmm. and I will keep referring to her, and it becomes a hilarious thing. A, P a Portuguese uh, grandma is in the show for Mother's Day. She will uh, say, "Hi, are you? Is your, your your what's your first name, Mary?" And she says, "She says not all Portuguese women are named Mary." And I said, "That's it." So I fight with her for mm -hmm. about five minutes, <laughs> you know, back and forth. So that's hilarious. Mm -hmm. so, I fight with, I yeah, with yeah. her for forget it. It's like back and forth, you know, mm -hmm. and hilarious stuff come from that. Yeah. So I that's love different those, from those. a drunk or yeah. A, a, right. Yeah, it's but you, you know participation. It. Yeah. I created it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. participation yeah. is good. Well, this leads into the last question from my stepdad, Kolo Robinson. Uh, he, he went to your comedy show in Hilo. Oh, he's nice. a Damien alum as well. Ah, very tragic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he says, Hilo started a comedy club in downtown area and Andy and Augie have performed there already. How different was it performing for an all-local crowd versus a venue in Waikiki? Who was that, Heston? No, my uh, my stepdad, Kolo Robinson. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Um, I just got an email from that club <laughs> oh, really? saying, hey, how about September again, right? That's funny. Um, it's, it's the all-local thing, right? When I was on the mainland, right, I kind of lost my local chops. And then I found myself in front of an all-local audience going, oh, man, and you have to, you know. And then uh, it's, it's like speaking to someone who speaks your language. Mm. When, you, when you speak to tourists, you can be funny, but there are certain things you can't say because they don't speak your language. Right. You know, you cannot say Hanabara or Bola Head mm -hmm. or Hamajang or, you know, a bunch of different stuff that, that that's, to me, that's the difference. Yeah. yeah. Frank, you will take down. What's the question? Uh, <laughs> basically, like, how different is it, is it performing in front of an all-local crowd versus a non-local crowd, like somewhere in the Hilo versus Waikiki? How often do you perform all-holy crowds? Yeah. Never. Yeah. Except when I first started with the tour company. Mm -hmm. Then it was all-holies. 
So my first, uh, other than schools and, and the, you know, the up the park and all that kind of stuff was all local, right? But that's been growing up. But as far as me, I'd say professional, you know, it was all Howleys. Mm. And so I would like my Portuguese jokes. I learned that in Canada, it's Nufi jokes. Yeah. So I would just mm. do that. Mm. Chinese Im- Im- imitations, they have a huge Chinatown in, Cam- in uh, Canada. So, you know, I adapted it mm. accordingly. And so that's how I performed for the Howleys. But uh, in my show at the palace, the Howley people would come in. They would, tour guides would bring in a, a, a group. So then I would just tie them into the show somehow. And, um, and you know, I tell them when you hear, when you hear the whole audience laugh, laugh with them and you have a good time at the end of the show. And your car yeah. won't be robbed. Then, <laughs> whatever it is, <laughs> you, you, bring, you become part of the show. Yeah. That's how I dealt with it. But as far as me working with a completely uh, all Howley in a comedy show, other than when I was doing the tour thing, never did have. Mm. Yeah. I've done it, which is so for 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 me. I uh, I always felt like if I'm having a good time, the audience will probably have a good time. So uh, I just did a, a dry bar comedy special, Utah of all yeah. places. Oh, Nobody I, drinking. I watched that one, right? And. No always, coffee. No coffee. Yeah. I, was, I just felt like, you know what? I like to believe that there's a lot of people that come to Hawaii year in, year mm-hmm. out, and they kind of know a little bit of our culture. And what makes us different and unique is that we have this amazing perspective of teasing everybody mm-hmm. and not being fearful, right? And I think outside of the beauty of Hawaii, the mountains, the trees, the ocean, they fall in love with the people. And if we can be genuine on stage, and I think that's, I have a hard time changing and I've tried. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, when I tried to, to, to make the act more howly, I'm not genuine and I get mm-hmm. a, I have a hard time being me. Mm-hmm. So I just kind of gave up and just, just did it the way I did it. And it was okay if I bombed because I know that there's an audience waiting for me that, accepts who I am and uh, open to hearing everything that I have to say. And once I got that confidence, I was okay. Mm. was okay. So mm. I never changed. I and mean, when I tried, I had a hard time. It's like Andy going the opposite, right? Right. Yeah. So, yeah. But imagine watching him on stage in Utah doing the Samoan Santa Claus thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't believe it. But you did it with such conviction. Yeah. Hey, ugly. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to make you ugly. Ugly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You did that? Funny. Dude, funny I is did. Funny. Yeah. Yes. It's on YouTube. When yes. You it. Yes. So, like, I, uh, and, you know, it's cool to watch what's happening worldwide. It, like, how now Pigeon is the number one accent everywhere. Yeah. Think mm-hmm. about that. When you were doing it, you were. Oh, he's too ethnic. He's too ethnic. And now it's like the most popular thing. Yeah. You get guys that come in, will do one funny local joke. Joe Coy. And sell out five days Mm -hmm. at the Blazed Arena. And good for you, right? Mm -hmm. You're killing it. No, it's because. I'm happy for him. Right. Mm But, you know, when I was, when my stuff was getting edited out of, um, you know, Whoopi Goldberg's special, right? Because, oh, you you can't do those. Mm -hmm. Talking about, you know, Hawaiian people and Chinese people and all that stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, Yeah. But, like, it's exciting that people, like, identify and they know, like, man, we have this richness that is so genuine, so pure, so innocent that. Man, you can sell out five days mm-hmm. at the you Blaze know, Arena because you said slipper. slipper. <laughs> huh? You know what that reminds yeah. me of? Uh, 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 Fred Hemings, right? Senator Fred Hemings, retired now, right? He was Hawaii's um, and the world's first surfing champion. He was the world mm. surfing champion, the first one, right? And I said, wow, that's amazing. What did you win? And he goes, I got a T-shirt and a bar of wax. <laughs> and think about surf champs now, yeah. right? And, you know, I mean, not, not to say that we were the groundbreakers and stuff, but, 
You look at what people are doing now yeah. in the stadiums they're filling mm -hmm. because it's social media. Yeah. It's your generation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, yeah. And it's relatable. It's funny. Right. Yeah. And but we wouldn't be here without you guys. Yeah. Well, I don't know about that. But, you, you know, another thing, too, is um, w with 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 the uh, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Something about being old and cannot remember. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, yeah, this is a bit. <laughs> no, for real though. I mean, in Hawaiian culture, it's like we're we're always giving thanks to our kupuna, the people that came before us. So whether you want to take the credit, whether you're going to be ha ha and humble, you know, we're gonna we're gonna be, be the ones to acknowledge that. You know, we're only here because of the ground, the work that everybody did that laid before us. Yeah. Well, you know, it's when I went to Kent Bowman's funeral. Never met the guy. I'm sure you don't mm -hmm. remember who he was. But um, I went to his funeral to thank him for laying the ground right. for Booga and, you know, and Frank and myself and you know, all, yeah. all of us. Because he was doing, hey, look right. how big you mach up. Mm -hmm. Oh, the better for she you mm -hmm. Remember, you know? Yes. Yeah, fractured fairy tales. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's right. But but regardless of the accolades and what you, the you know the things that you shared in, within your your comedy sketches, it's the representation. I think it's the biggest thing. It's seeing a guy from Kalihi, a guy from Waianae, you know, in Poragi. <laughs> it's so relatable. Seeing like, wow, they they found success in this. So can I? And that's what people are always going to yeah. appreciate. And at the end of the day, laughter. And laughing. Yeah, right. Laughter. People want to yeah. come to laugh. So recognize yeah. the prodigy. Exactly. <laughs> Give them their flowers. Give them their lays before it's too late. Yes. <laughs> okay. Mahalo, every <clears throat> Mahalo everybody for the social media fan questions. Make sure you leave some for our next guest. And maybe a question will make it on the podcast. I have a fun game that I want to do. I want, since okay. you guys are all here, I feel like we got to do something with Pigeon. Okay. okay. So... Basically, I want to break down certain pigeon words because we hear them all the time, but we probably don't even know what they mean. And I, you know, I love languages. I love the etymology of things. I was just talking with somebody the I'm other sorry, day. What was that word? Etymology. <laughs> etymology. I know etymology. It's, etymology. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's uncle -mology. Yeah, yeah, Why? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You have to have front teeth to say that word. <laughs> oh, I know. Etymology. Yeah, my auntie. Oh, yeah. Etymology. I'm sorry. So, Glenn. etymology taught me this word. Okay. <laughs> etymology. Uh, so, first of all, we're going to start with Huli Maka Flip. And so, to get everybody involved, I want one person. So, I'm going to read it. One person translates. Okay. The next person uses it in a sentence. And the last person tries to break it down. Oh, my that God. Etymology. Oh, okay. Man. Okay? All right. Okay. You guys ready? Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> so try your best. Okay? So, huli maka flip. What does that mean? It took a flop. Okay. Use that in a sentence. I was looking at one thing and I huli maka flip and look at the other. Okay. And so what... How would you break that down? Uh, huli, of course, is... Um, you know, turn over mm -hmm. or flip, right? And 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 huli maka is you see, and flip is of course Filipino. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. That is Thank you. Well, I mean, no, we, need no, we need nothing else. Yeah. This is this nope. is this is what I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> but that was specifically we were trying to figure it out because you know the huli turn right. flip yeah. maka is it I how does it relate to like falling out? I, I, I thought maybe it's like maka you separate it you during the or within the so like you're flipping yeah while or like you're turning while you flip. So that's how I I was trying to think of it, but like well, when you or see you a see car it accident, or you see it yeah with oh, your maka yes. yeah yeah you, you huli and you see. Here's an old style mm -hmm. pigeon, right? Um, way back in the day, when a car was going fast, they would say, "Ho, como kalas gear, I'm like a bee." <laughs> this is ancient pigeon, and it's como, right? Mm -hmm. You take what is it? Uh, put it in, or like, Philip, put yeah. it in. Como kalas gear, you put it in mm -hmm. last gear, and you hum like a bee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow! So the old style. This is my dad's tale. He, he go, "Oh, look at that! Como kalas gear, I'm like a bee," <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. My dad talks about um, things like that, but in Hawaiian, because he learned from kupunas. Yeah. And they would say certain things that doesn't really make sense, but it would be like almost like a pigeon English. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm a like, pigeon Hawaiian band. Yeah, yeah. Not pigeon English. Yeah. Pigeon yeah. Hawaiian. Pigeon Hawaiian. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. 
my Papa Sang used to, across the street used to do that. He'd say, Hi, Papa Sang, are you all oh, too much a pili, well, too much a hana hana, too much a pili mm. Oh. And that was his comment every day because he worked a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. I love learning. I wish I wish there was a book of all those things. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, next one. So uh what does this mean? Bombay. Bombay later on. Later on. Okay. He's in on sentence. Oh, I'll go pay you Bombay. Okay, how do we how how do we break that down? How did Bombay come to be Bombay? <laughs> <laughs> Just your there, best guess. <laughs> there's a bum. <laughs> and he said, <laughs> And I, and I brought him to the whole <laughs> and I never found he asked for my five dollars and I said bye bye I, I was buying a bum for five bucks I, I, I think it came from buy and buy though. I think so I, think so. I could pay you buy yeah, yeah, yeah. and buy mm-hmm. buy and buy and buy okay <laughs> I think I like his version better yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay next one hammer jang what does that mean oh hammer jang is all mixed up you know what I mean Okay. Any kind. He's in a sentence. Oh, my baby is there. Oh, I have my jam. That's a classic one. And then how do we break that down? I don't know. My hammer is... I, I, I cannot... I, I don't know. I don't know. My wall hammer jam. <laughs> <laughs> My brain hammer jang. We're talking about beverages. You get my hammer. Hammer, the thing, the thing jang. Jang, 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 Okay, okay. Well, Find out the daily PJ. The daily PJ. That's why I have to, yeah. I should start a podcast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll do one more round, okay? Uh, scrap. What does oh, that mean? Oh, that's an oh. easy one. Huh? I gotta go scrap that rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have to. <laughs> I just tried my mind. Okay. Uh, what does that you, mean, you scrap? Give the meaning, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Give the scrap. meaning. I get the meaning. What? Like scrap. fight. Fight. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He's doing a sentence. He likes scrap. <laughs> he likes scrap. <laughs> how, how, how did that become? Scrap? Well, be, because, you know, you, when, when you scrap, right, you're, you're engaging, mm-hmm. you know, I, and, and it just sounds better than beef. <laughs> our, do, our generation do you want to fight? Beef. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. Right. We would beef. Okay? Yeah. And, like scrap. And now it's what? Dance. What is the other one? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, he like dance. Yeah, but yeah. but scrap is just you know like like cat scrap. Mm. I mean, it's kind of self. Um, <laughs> what, what are they called? We're doing so good to the word scrap came along. <laughs> yeah, and hammer jam. No, scrap. Because so because people here they don't really use it unless it's like in like uh, maybe you're in the fighting world. Mm-hmm. People will get so confused by that. But by scrap? Because they because you they think what he said in the beginning. Oh, scrap something like yeah 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 throw it away yeah. Yeah. Oh, or feed the scrap. Instead of scrap. like, scrap. The, you like scrap. You I, like heard fight. The, I heard scrap. Yeah. Because my, my uncle used to work on a pig farm. Oh, yeah. you know, go feed the, feed pig the, feed the scraps. scraps. Right. Maybe it came from, I'm going to make you scrap. Mm-hmm. Mm. Could be. I don't know. All right. We'll, we'll uh, finish with this one. Tantaran. Okay. What is that? Tantaran is high makama. <laughs> I love that. Anybody <laughs> use watching? another? Oh, I thought I was gonna get the meaning. Yeah. Hi, hi, Makama. Yeah. I don't know what else. What other word? Whatever. Word. And use it in a sentence. Oh, man. Well, you eat your car, you know. Tara, tara. And how do how do we break that down? Um, uh, it's uh, it, it it was taken, uh, from a music, uh, a part of a you know. Ta-da! <laughs> it's like, oh, I saw the wheels turning. <laughs> you see it. Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> it's taking... Ta-da! <laughs> oh, I like that part of that. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Ta-da! And you are welcome for this perfect explanation of pigeon words from the big three comedians of Hawaii. You're all welcome. Thank you. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. So we're coming to the back end of the podcast. 
And at this point, I like to ask people the same question, the meaning of keep it aloha, because the podcast is keep it aloha. And I want to know in your lives, how do you keep it aloha? Okay, I go first. I think uh, just by being genuine and truthful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's people. Frank DeLima came to do the message of aloha and we use it so loosely. Yeah, and you can feel real aloha when you're really genuine. And that's what I love about comedy. I'm bringing back the whole comedy again. If we weren't being so truthful on stage, we wouldn't have lasted this long. Mm -hmm. And it's like the word aloha, right? If you're not being truthful, you ain't feeling nothing. So for me, just being genuine and truthful. Mm -hmm. Keeping it aloha is keeping it real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I still you did so mind, right? <laughs> but aloha is a spirit, and mm -hmm. if when you when you you um, do anything, if you, oh, if <laughs> you do anything, you do it with aloha. You got to have the spirit backing it up. Mm -hmm. It has to be part of it. Mm -hmm. So, that's so keeping aloha is keeping that yeah. aloha spirit alive. So, it's, so somebody got to be home in the eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. The actual word, aloha, mm -hmm. right? When they, they touched faces and they, they shared the breath of life, right? That was the sharing part, right? And to me, and, and we do this in, in, on my podcast, is we concentrate on what brings us together, not mm -hmm. what separates us. Mm -hmm. Today, there's so much us against them. You're over here. We're over here, right? Um, Aloha to me is is the bringing together of with with that breath of life. Ah. Mm. Togetherness, Lokahi. Lokahi. Yeah, yeah. Okay, awesome. All right. So, before I end the podcast, I gotta know what is your life hacks. Life what? Yeah, life hacks. Did you share that with them? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. So I like to know um, what is something that like makes your life easier. Maybe like a mantra you have, something in your life that you keep. Like some people say, like, "Oh, wake up every morning, drink water," or before you get on stage, you do this. Or I use this thing to help. I don't know, me cook better. Something like that. I'll go first. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my life hack lately is being old, and <laughs> how I'm embracing the idea of not caring so much about <laughs> things that I was just nuts about when mm -hmm. I was young. You know, right now, and, and it's a joke where you say, you know, one, one of the ups, the downsides of being old is you cannot remember things as well. One of the upsides is you not care, mm -hmm. right? You know, so I, I, I've, I, I have honed my life down to things that matter and things that don't. Mm -hmm. And as, as I get older, or am old now, I'm so happy with where I'm at because I've dropped all that other stuff. Mm. You know? Wear a t-shirt. You know what I mean? Don't care. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your life is so much better when you just don't care about the opinions of others. Right. And you have to iron mm -hmm. less. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. I just throw them in the dryer real quick. <laughs> Frank, yeah. what is your life hack? I guess my faith. Mm. That carries me through the day. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that was from a young boy, yeah. Young boy from yeah. the beginning time. Yeah, awesome. Mine's is right now, watch the salt and the sugar. Mm. <laughs> because you do not want to lose those. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, before Bombay they get stolen. <laughs> well, the salt and the sugar. Right. You gotta, I told you watch them. <laughs> <laughs> right on well mahalo we're gonna okay. we're gonna fast forward to some of the regular stuff we have on the podcast because these legends gotta go home gotta beat traffic i just want to say mahalo so much for Thank coming you, on man. this podcast is there anything you want to share with the audience before we wrap up if not tell us where we can find you oh uh, well we are doing father's day at the Blue Note, and, uh, and I'll be in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Leave Frank alone. He's trying to retire. I'll be, in, <laughs> I'll be in Hayward and Concord on the 21st, 22nd, uh, Maui at the end of the month, uh, up there in Makawao. Mm -hmm. uh, and then with these three guys, oh, these two guys, not three, yeah, yeah, yeah. two guys in Maui. Maui on the 26th. Yeah. 26th. Yeah. And Kona, right? Uh, and Kona at the Vet Center yeah. on yeah. the 20th. Yeah. Okay, yeah. social media? 
I'm sorry. What, what is your social social media? Handle? Oh, um, you know, I'm all the platforms, mostly of uh, YouTube, but uh, I do a podcast on Thursday, 3 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time on most of the platforms. You know, mm -hmm. we just added X, in fact, um, and I do that. And then um, I may be going back to uh, the the uh, Good Times Comedy Club in Hilo on September 1st. Okay. Um, we haven't nailed that down, but, you know, I may be doing that soon. And the gigs we yeah. talked about. Okay, right on. And follow you on social media. At Augie T. Augie yeah. T. Yep. Yeah. And don't don't follow him anywhere. Nowhere. No, don't come up to him at a grocery store. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> andybumatai.com <laughs> is my main is my Frank website. Frank That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, mahalo again. Uh, I just want to say mahalo to Andy Bumatai, Frank DeLima, Augie T for joining us on the Aloha. Keep It Aloha podcast. Spread love. Be kind to one another. And yes. mahalo for listening to us today. We have new episodes every Thursday, so make sure you follow us and leave a review. I'm your host, Kamaka. Remember to always keep it aloha.